Can you guys see me? Is my webcam working? The cam is frozen. I don't understand how that happened. Uh, okay. It makes no sense. Okay, let me delete the webcam. Uh, okay, goodbye, add. No. That doesn't work either. Sec. I don't understand why this doesn't work. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did it magically work now? Wait, what? Can you guys see me now? Okay, are we are we in there? It's very very dark in here so my my webcam is not the green screen's not working. Okay, how's that? Is that working? Weird. God. All right. Let's get it. Uh, I got something really cool to show you guys. So I have been, I have been approached by every single gaming energy drink hydration company pretty much in the history of the earth. And I've gotten many, many offers to join their teams and never quite pulled the trigger because it's not like any of them were bad. It's never had the, never had the one that I completely aligned with. And then a couple weeks ago, I was approached by G Fuel for the first time, the super mega company, and these guys are gods. So I'm happy today to announce that I'm joining G Fuel, and they sent me so much shit, man. They sent me so many of these. They have these new cans. This one's called Clickbait. They sent me Orange Vibes. They sent me Miami, Miami Night Life. What's it, what does it say? Miami Night, Miami something, Miami. Can't read it. Miami. They sent me hype sauce. They sent me tubs of stuff. They sent me shakers. They even sent me Diablo shakers. They, this is an evil one, Chucky, called Good Guy. Yeah, a lot of these have, if all of these, if not most of these, have zero sugar dream demon. Then they sent me these healthy snacks, protein puffs, white cheddar, 17 grams of protein. Jesus Christ, man. So here's the question. I have never tried any of these. Should I open, you got six choices. Should I open clickbait, orange vibe, Miami, the Chucky one, Hype Sauce, or Dream Demon? Open all of them, should I? Clickbait, no contest, clickbait, Hype Sauce. You don't know what, fuck it, I'm gonna open all of them. Screw it, let's try it. I'm gonna rank them. 
How long till the world boss? Okay, here's clickbait. <laughs> Bro, I like this one, man. This is like a grape. It's real good, man. It tastes like Welch's grape juice. Zero sugar. They're not room temperature. They're cold. Try this. We're both going to rank them. That, one, that one's like a grape. I heard you were trying. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, here's Sarah. Okay. Orange vibe. I like this one. It's good. It's good. That is not what I was expecting. Is it citrusy? This is like a... Dude, you're actually opening all of them? You should only do like a couple at like open two today. Stop at two. Open two tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? This one tastes like a like an orange orange popsicle. Like uh oh, we have to try this. See that one threw me off because I thought that one was gonna be like super orangey. It's like a creamsicle. Okay, Sarah doesn't like that one either. No, I don't like I don't like that like like, I don't like if, soda if you like orange cream sickles, that will be your favorite thing ever. I, that's not my thing. What's this one? Miami. Purple? What, what is this? I wish you're I don't I don't know what this is. What what flavor is that? It's it's Miami flavor. Try it. Try it. Tell me tell me what that tastes like to you. That <laughs> doesn't taste like it's the most unique flavor ever. It smells like it has like a coconut smell to it. There yeah, co co a co like a like a coconut uh, strawberry pina colada. Okay, I don't taste any strawberry in it. Pina colada, okay. It's like a pina colada. That one's better than the creamsicle, but the clickbait is the best, the best one by far, so far. Like by far, so far. Okay, Chucky, good guys. The Chucky can, it doesn't show your uh, green screen screen blocks out like what the this one is in, see it. this one is, you can't see it oh shit um and this and that other can is the coolest looking can by far this one's incredible i i love this one it's like a punch or something it tastes like fruit punch yeah the chucky one and the clickbait are are fantastic all right. It's actually a yellow can. Ooh, I'm getting full. We just ate right before this. Why? Why did? Oh, it's exploded on me. Hype sauce. This one tastes like a. Is this like a berry? One of the jugs is called Berry Bomb. Can't wait to try that. It's like a punch. Does this one have sugar in it? That's incredible that this one doesn't have sugar because this one tastes very, very sweet. Raspberry lemonade. Raspberry lemonade. So that's the berry I was tasting. It's uh, It tastes very sweet, but there's no sugar in it. It's good. This tastes like, you know when you go to like Cedar Point or where, like, a amusement park and you can get the rock candy? Yeah, it's like, rock candy. it's like cotton candy or pop rocks or last one. This is the best can. This can looks like a Diablo can. Yeah, it's got a slash through it. And your green, your green screen doesn't let them see it. What if you like hold it in front of your hoodie? All G Fuel is sugar free. God tier. Okay. Dream Demon. No, I'll tell you exactly what this tastes like. Exactly. It tastes like bubblicious fruit punch bubble gum. What? That's exactly what it tastes like. That was my favorite bubble gum growing up. Let me 
It's very good. It's another, like, it's like a fruit, bubblegum fruit punch kind of thing. Citrus fruit punch. That's so shocking because it's like a demon can. It's literally called demon green bean. Try it. It's like a citrusy fruit punch. It tastes like the, the, the bubblicious fruit punch. Okay, so. I, I love that can. I would say the best one. For me, it's either it's between good guy Chucky or clickbait. I'm telling you, if you like grape flavored stuff, Sarah's favorite is clickbait. If you like grape flavored stuff, this one is god tier. It's like the tart thing that I like. Tartiness. It's like not too sweet, it's not sour, it's Alright, and one more thing. Now we gotta try the snacks. Either the fruit punches, the demon, or the the demon one, or the raspberry lemonade. Protein puffs, white cheddar. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Way crunchier than a Cheeto. Very crunchy. It's good. To me, it doesn't have a very strong taste. White cheddar never does, though. White cheddar is supposed to be very... It's like a, mi a very mild taste. But that's 17 grams of protein. I like them. They're, they're good. It's a very mild taste. Dude, they should make these in like sharp, extra sharp cheddar. Mmm, that'd be so good. <laughs> I would be interested. I like these. These are good. I would be interested in trying these with a much more powerful taste, like jalapeno cheddar or sour cream and onion. What? You can have them. I've eaten enough. I'm, I I started the stream, which was stupid. I started the stream full. Is this the only clickbait that we have? I can't remember. I can't remember. They sent you three boxes. Three? They sent me three boxes? Okay. Jesus. Did they send me a Diablo shaker? If you like grape, man, if you like grape, Get clickbait. Yeah. If you like fruit punchy stuff, get the chunky stuff. They sent you this one's like I can't tell, but this is like a dark, dark blue. Like a red lid or something. This is a blue? It's like a purple. This is blue? Yep. It's the same as your hoodie. Hold it up to your hoodie. See? This is not the same as my hoodie. It's purple, right? You're making me think I'm colorblind. I think you're colorblind. <laughs> These two are not the same color. And this one's fucking cute as hell. Is, oh, this one. is the girly one? It's not girly. It's like a video game looking thing. Look at all the little, the little creatures on it. Exclamation G fuel, guys. Try try the clickbait. Try the try the clickbait one. Shaker. I love Google Shaker. I don't think we got the Diablo shakers, or maybe they're still on their way. I did not see a Diablo shaker. Oh, did I miss the world boss? Wah! Wah! World boss in five minutes. We didn't miss it. Lit. Anyway, uh, we are now partnered with G Fuel. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, by the way, G Fuel has a BOGO going on. The BOGO works for the tubs, but not the, the cans, right? We also have 10 million tubs over there of everything. We're good for like the next 17 years. Um, you order the case of clickbait. 
I'm willing to put my my name on the line. If you like if you like like Welch's grape, this 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 is what you need in your life. This. Dude, it's got 50% of your vitamin C. Dude, I've been sneezing for a month. The clickbait's really good, man. And if you like punch, like fruit punchy stuff, get this one. Get the Chucky one. The the orange like the orange cream sickle thing, if you like that, if you like that flavor, I'm sure that that flavor would be the goat for you. But uh, that is not one of my favorite desserts. Very nice, very nice. I'm probably going to be drinking Chuckies and uh, Clickbaits. I love that this has no sugar. This is what I'm always drinking. I'm always drinking these little mini Cokes. This thing, this little mini Coke has 25 grams of sugar in it. 25. This has 25. This has zero. Does G Fuel have beer? I don't know. I don't drink beer. I've never drank a beer in my life. Another one that I really like, they have a, a tub. They have a, the fruit punch tub. That's what I've been drinking uh, on the side. I like, I like fruit punchy stuff. Do I have... So we got some really, really nice partners this month. I feel very, I feel very lucky. We partnered with G Fuel and we partnered with Starforge. Feels good, man. Starforge has a hundred bucks off all their PCs through Black Friday. G Fuel has buy one, get one free. I believe it only works on the tubs. If you click on my link, by the way, one thing about my G Fuel thing, if you exclamation G Fuel or click it down below, if you click the link, it automatically applies the discount code for you on the checkout. So you don't have to like remember some code. Just click the link and the code is already there. I should try Musashi. Is that one of the flavors of G Fuel? This is the same build as Max Roll, yes. How is D4? You haven't tried it for months. It's on the rise, man. It's feeling real good. Casual, Sokar, K, Jealous, Some Call Me G. Thank you for the subs and the primes, guys. G Fuel Chase Chalky to you. Have you tried clickbait? I don't taste any chalk chalkiness whatsoever. We'll just try a Chucky. Dude, this Chucky one is good, man. I might like the Chucky one better. Just because fruit punch is usually my favorite flavor. Which vitamin C in this one? 50%. I might like the Chucky one better, man. Thank you, Hypnos. Thank you, everybody at G Fuel for making this happen. Appreciate it. Very happy to be on your team. Let's keep it rolling, man. You don't like clickbait, but you're willing to try the drink. <laughs> if you like grape. If you don't like grape-flavored stuff, if you don't like Welch's grape juice, 
Do not buy clickbait. If you like fruit punch, buy the Chucky one. Thank you, G Fuel. Appreciate you guys. Kapow. Look how many malignant hearts it dropped. That was lit. Okay. Um. Let me go to the vampire zone. This, this is not a different hoodie. This is the hoodie. Um, this is the hoodie I wore, I wore on my very first stream. This is the OG hoodie. I wore this on my very first stream. You want to know what I think I'm going to do? Like, I reserve the right to change my mind. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this hoodie in good condition until the end of my stream. And then I might auction it off. I don't know how much it will go for. It might not go for anything. But if it goes for a lot of money or whatever money it goes for, I think I'm going to donate it to charity. Not like the completionist where you like actually donate it to charity. I might also auction off my original Trash Cats hoodie so someone can have it if they want it and uh, give the money to charity. Or I might just give it to one of my longtime mods. Thank you, Hypnos. Appreciate you, buddy. I like the fruit flavors. That's what I like. Duriel is by far the best option for God Slayer. You'll get a million God Slayers doing Duriel for sure. Okay, what our life is going to be, guys, is it's just going to be farming Duriel. There's nothing else to do. I've never had a beer in my life. Not one time. Not kidding. Actually never had a beer. I, I've taken a sip of a beer before many times. But I've never sat down and drank one beer in my life. I've drink I've drank uh, at least a thousand root beers. Yeah, I love Bark's root beer, but real beer? No. A and W barks or mug, I don't. I don't think it's even close. Like, I don't even know how this is a topic. One of them is by far the goat, and the other ones are just very meh. I really don't drink alcohol either. Um, never been drunk one time in my life. Um. I'll have, like, if we're all going out, if we, if everyone's ordering a margarita, I will get one margarita, and that's it. I don't, I don't drink either. I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I've never smoked a cigarette, I've never smoked pot, I don't drink a beer. I don't do that stuff. I never, never had an interest. Never was interested. I never did, never, just never had an interest in any of that stuff. <clears throat> just stayed away from it all. Every single, almost without exception, any person that I know that has, that drinks beer, drinks alcohol, smokes weed, smokes cigarette, or, you know, anything, regrets it. They wish that they didn't. So I thought, well, okay. 
If everybody always regrets it, why don't I just not do it? You went through rehab this year for that? How did rehab go? Give me one second, guys. I'm reading something here. Give me one second here, guys. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking something here. Different hoodie. This is the OG hoodie, man. By the way, I want to apologize for something. I take this very seriously. I know most of you will probably not care, but I care. I have been starting my stream the last couple of days very late, and I find that to be completely unacceptable. Um, I just had so much shit to do. I don't regret doing it. I, I spent some time with Sarah. That was great. And I spent some time with Boiler. That was great. But I need to get my shit together. So um, we're going to get back on track starting tomorrow and, uh, and uh, get back on track here. Okay, so I need a perfect ring. I need a perfect ring for my sorcerer, right? So, are you guys finding that no matter what, your hearts are truly outpacing your other materials? Because this is what I'm absolutely seeing. Is it a true statement that always, no matter what, your hearts outpace your other materials now? Because this is what I'm seeing consistently. Okay, it's like half and half. Um, I do want to get all of my. I do. I didn't. I said I was. I wasn't going to do this, and now I am going to do this. I am going to get all of my. All of my glyphs to 21. Let me message North War. I'm asking Northwar if he can tell me which glyphs I need. Okay, 
he doesn't have the he doesn't have it through. God, I could I'm so tempted to sit here and theory craft a godly paragon board, man. I'm so tempted to sit here and do it, but I shouldn't do that. What I should be doing is I should be laser focused and I should be farming. Whispering vault, broken bulwark. Okay. I need those keys. Whispering vault, broken bulwark. Do I have either of those? No. Um see here. Can I craft them? Looks like I want them to be cheap. Whisper. These are pretty cheap. Let's make 15 of them. The spring vault broken bulwark. Split. But the folks want a Rax theory craft. The thing is, is if I'm theory crafting, then I'm not farming. You know? If you're not winning, you're losing. <laughs> We need to be farming, guys. So many primes, got. So many primes, guys. I'm a black hat, lichen, M, Berkislund, NY, drugs, huskers. Thank you so much for the primes and the subs, guys. Appreciate you. I'm a ball lightning sorcerer. I fly around and I one shot everything. Your balls are bigger than mine? Doubtful. Doubtful. Do you have the chain lightning tech on your ball lightning sorcerer, uh, Vince? It is. Re if you do not have that, you will not feel good. If you are not playing the chain lightning tech with recharging, you're not going to be feeling good about it. Expect into chain lightning with the recharging aspect on your ring. Do you notice how I pretty much never run out of mana? It's because of that. Once you never run out of mana, it's it's just winning. Okay. Yeah. If you got that, you should be good. You just need to get good. Yeah, get good, you loser. No, um There are a couple of nodes to make sure that you have maxed. I'll, I will show you in a second. Everything is about when you're first starting it out. You only have one problem to solve. The damage is there. Everything is fine. The question to solve is, do you have infinite mana or not? If you have infinite mana, you win. And if you don't, you lose. It is that simple.
Okay, um, so North War said charge is going to get dropped for sure. And then potentially flame feeder as well. So I only need to level these two elementalist and unleashed. Okay, the other one was Broken Bulwark, right? Broken Bulwark. Can I buy a vowel, a B? Wah. 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 All right, let's go salvage these. Why run them under leveled? Because it's far more important to... The, the important thing is not leveling my glyphs. The important thing is getting the right key. Be right back one sec.
Okay. Yeah, Goa's the fastest. But I need Broken Bulwark is what I need. I need every single key. On all of my... On all of my characters. I need every key. Leviathans. We have double carrion. Grinning, double grinning. I'll take the one off with hallowed. Conclave. Shiraco, we have two Shirakos. That's best one. Don't need a Lubin. My name is not Lubin. Nightmare Portal is better than Suppressor. Okay, so that's roughly a copy of each. Inferno, double Inferno. Let's get rid of Poison Enchanted. We'd have a J Leviathans. We have a Carrions. We have a Hallowed. This is not going well. Runes of air. When does this reset? One hour and five. Seven. Broken bulwark. Well, can't seem to find it anywhere. Prison of Chaldeum. Wait, is that one of them? Maybe not. Are we still doing Durial? Yeah, I'm farming the Durial mats. That's what I'm doing, believe it or not, by standing here doing nothing. But uh, it's certainly not going my way. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start plugging. It's a 97. Let's maybe go for a 65 because I don't have a very high defense set up right now. The game is dead. What do you mean? The game's not dead. What? What? Uh, oh my God. One hour stun. Three hundred and fifty viewers on YouTube. Yeah, I mean it's going up. The uh, it's all about the algorithm, right? If the algorithm likes me, we'll have a lot of viewers, and if the algorithm doesn't like me, we won't. I I'm here on Twitch because I like you guys. I I like you guys. I'm not really so concerned with 
the individual platforms. I like Twitch, I like YouTube. Wherever you want to watch is fantastic. Just want to give you guys options. Why do I think people don't PvP in this game? Uh, well, one of the main problems is there's really not much of an incentive to do so. That's one problem. Another problem is it's not balanced at all. They just kill me. I have so many buffs, I can't tell if they killed me or not. Let's see. Still have too many buffs. Yeah, they did. They did kill me there. Blizzard has got a major, major, major problem with how damage is calculated in this game. The fact that a regular archer can hit me for 90% of my health is just extremely stupid, man. Yeah, I'm playing on hardcore right now. I always plan all my characters are hardcore. Um Perilous finally racks is on. Quick question, is the XP buff this weekend stacking on top of the seasonal XP buff or is it additive? I don't know the answer, but I'm guessing it's multiplicative. I'm guessing Blizzard has learned their lesson because the whole problem with their XP formulas in the past is everything was additive, so it made it garbage. So if this XP buff is, is additive, then that's going to be feel super bad. It is multiplicative, okay. That's what I would expect. <coughs> By the way, guys, is there is an armor potion, right? What's the... What's the highest armor potion in the game? Can can the classes that can't get the armor, can you just drink an armor potion? Nine hundred. And then when you drink that, all of the percentage bonuses then apply to that nine hundred, right?
Okay, can we go back in yet? God. And how much, okay, how expensive is the iron skin elixir? Why not have it? You can't make it. You can only get it as a drop. Oh. I have it. Iron skin. I have it. Okay, this moved. Let's go do this one. Is the XP fixed? <laughs> Wait, I thought they said it was 35% XP. Is it 25 or 35? My thing says 25. So did anybody actually test it? Is it 35 or is it 25? The buff says 25. What is it actually though? Oh, okay. Okay, so Adam Fletcher said they messed up. It's supposed to be 35. They're changing it. So you get 25 for now. They fucked up. It's going to be 35 well, in a hot fix. Right, like, it's okay. It's fine. Whatever. But.
I'm playing hardcore. Yeah, so, uh, my uncle was a doctor at the Mayo Clinic, right? Like the, the, uh, one of the most respected hospitals in the world, right? And, uh, they had a process whenever they would do a surgery in the ER called timeout. And so you have the, you have a team full. You already have a team full of like some of the best, some of the best uh, medical personnel in the world already at the hospital, right? But they had a process that they called timeout, where right before a surgery, they all stop before they begin, and they all have a one minute conversation about exactly what they're going to do. And they say, okay, we're going to put this guy under. He is six foot tall. He weighs 230 pounds. We are going to make an incision on his upper right shoulder and see if we need to amputate his right arm. If we are not going to amputate it, we're going to do this. If we are going to amputate it, we are going to do this. This person is going to do this, and this person is going to do this. Do you do you understand? And uh, my my uncle said you would be surprised, even with all the greatest like medical people in one room, how many errors they avoided by having that 60 second conversation before they ever do a, a, a procedure with their, with their little system called timeout, where they spend 60 seconds double checking and agreeing with each other about what's going to happen. The funny thing is, is Blizzard clearly does not have a system like this. I understand we're not performing surgery here. It's not life and death situation but blizzard could learn a lot from the mayo clinic and implementing a timeout process where they have a quick check we are going to do this buff it's going to release on this date it's going to work this way is everybody clear on exactly what you see because they clearly do not have this process. And if they would implement something like that, my God, they would do so much better. As a Diabloologist, I can confirm, thank you. Always good to have the professionals weigh in, thank you. They, they literally need to copy the Mayo Clinic's process of timeout. This is what, uh, just to give you an example, Woody and I, when we did the Samsung stream, we kind of did that same process. Before we did it, we met up for a couple minutes and we said, okay, these are the events that we're doing this person will introduce this event. This person will introduce this event. We have to stop and share the new Samsung Odyssey monitor at this time. We will do it after this event. This person will share this info on this sheet. Every event takes this long. And we were in agreement. And then we did the Samsung live stream. And afterward, the Samsung people said that they've done the stream for a lot of different games. And they said this one was one of the best ones that they ever did for any game ever. And uh, it's not really...
probably because Woody and I are so great. It's got nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that before we started, we did a little timeout. Let us agree on exactly how we're going to do this. And then by God, guess what? It worked. Imagine that. I do all these. Just go in here and do this. Is the game better now or nah? The game is significantly better than it used to be. Yes, it is. Um, Gruggan, Zeb, Palmer, Rawin. Thank you so much for the subs and the primes, guys. Robert. Thank you for the donation, man. Is the blessing 25 or 35? They messed up, and it's 25. What I have heard is Adam said they're going to fix it to 35. They said it was 35. They released it as 25. They messed up. They're going to fix it and make it 35. That's the latest information that I have. Thank you for the donation, man. Boy, I remember moving. Flicker Step or Essus? I don't use Flicker Step on any build. I use Essus. We're going to have to craft each one. You mean craft the avatar of Zirki or craft each what? Two K sigil powder per abattoir. Is it really? It does cost eight hundred sigil per cost. Well, I need to stop crafting stuff then. How much sigil powder do I have? I got 35k. How many sticks do I have?
<laughs> Aslan's mad that Charles talking about food. Uh, the food sounds tasty, man. Uh, I mean, I'm going to start stacking sigil powder. If it costs 800 per, and maybe it's a rising cost, I have no idea. Uh, I'm not spending it. I'm not spending any sigil dust anymore. I'm going to start stacking it. Does anyone know when the next Helltide is? In 10, okay. Let's see how well Lightning Man can survive against me. Not well. My balls were ticking for 1.2 million there, by the way. That was a close fight. Guys, can I tell you a secret? Callie is a dog. Bleed it. Sure, I would show you her, but she's she's napping right next to me. She's so peaceful. When did she choose to identify as a dog? Oof. That's a topic I will not touch with a 10-foot pole. Ghost Runner just gifted five memberships. By the way, Ghost Runner, did you see how excited Sarah was when you gifted her that new COD game? I think we had to wash her pants like five times in a row to get all the shit out of it. She was so happy. She shit her pants so hard. Well, she was very happy to have COD. She's mad that you spend so much money on us. I can relate to that feeling. Hit him for one point. Oh, my ball, one of my balls there hit him for almost 1.5 million. Get blasted.
deleted. Wow, that guy got tomahawked. That's my new show, Tomahawk. Hey, Ashton, come here. Any good WANs here? Absolutely don't need Penitent Greaves for anything. Crit Lucky Hit Life. Okay, we gotta keep this ring. Okay, um, let's put this stuff away in case my ball lightning sorcerer dies. Um, let's check my vampire powers. Three, 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 three. Lit. Wow. Wow. Do we have four more minutes? I guess let's do a couple more of these. Your sorcerer has low armor. A lot of sorcerers have five or six K armor. You want to know the funny thing? We need to have 15,000 each. Every sorcerer needs 15,000 armor. How funny is that? We need 15K. No, it's the actual number is fourteen nine eight six. Well, sorcerers are going to need to, excuse me, sorcerers are going to need to um, roll the percent armor rolls like everywhere. Drop the tabalts and take quad pants with the. 30% armor roll, probably 30% armor roll on amulet here, there, here, there. But there is also potentially the immortal tech with melted heart, if you have that. Should also work on sorcerer. What's up? Mm. So like a glue or something. Okay. Good job. We almost have a place to live. 
So I've been trying to keep it since we clean. I've been trying to keep it much cleaner. Like if I make any kind of a mess, I try to clean it up right away. <laughs> Do you want the rest of the uh, uh, clickbait and I can drink the fruit punch one? Because you don't really like fruit punch. What's that? Make food? Eat cookies. It's uh, I looked it up yesterday on the stream, guys. It's you need four you need eight. the number is exactly fifteen thousand. It's like twenty less than fifteen thousand. That's for capped that is for capped uh, DR, but you, you, you got to get close. You have got to get close. Like, let me, let me break it to you in, you know, calm terms you know i don't want to over exaggerate if if you don't have 15k armor you are going to get ultimate dicked it's the kindest way that i can put it which is why we need north wars planner to come out It's 15,986 or something is the actual number. If the calculator that I was using is correct. So just think of it as 15,000. And you don't want to go over 15,000 because it doesn't do anything for you. So you need to get about to 15,000 armor. Right now, I'm at 8.7 with disobedience on my amulet. That is not, it's like halfway there, right? Wait a minute. Wait. Has it always been like that? Did Blizzard make Cinder's auto pickup? Has it always been like that? I thought I had to click him before. Look. It's always been like that? Are you sure? Huh. I've always been clicking them, man. I've always been clicking them. I'm not even kidding. I, ne I never knew that they were auto pickup. I've been clicking them the whole time, and I've been crying that they need to make them auto pickup. Bro, you can just run over them. Bro. Why have I been picking them up? God damn it. Ah. Uh. Bro, why didn't anybody tell me? I was so excited. I'm so excited. Look, I don't have to do anything. No wonder I couldn't get 2,400 average. I've been picking up the damn things. Oh. Take me now, Jesus.
Dude, these ball lightning sorcerers absolutely fry, man. This is like cheating. Are you seeing this character? Look at this sorcerer, just zero Fs given at all. Not one French toast given. We're frying. Ball lightning sorcerer is so face roll, man. It's so nice. Oh, big boy. He's so lucky that I missed my metamorphosis. This guy. Ow. You liked D three better than D four. Well, there is certainly some some truth to the matter that at least uh, the end of D3 was more fun than the beginning of D4. I don't think many people could argue against that. But Diablo 4 is just going to win, though. Diablo 4 is on the rise, and Diablo 4 has a lot more resources, and Diablo 4 is... I, I don't think this event is worth it. This event just costs me time. 
be wrong, but I don't think this event is worth it. But running around and killing all the stuff on the outside is. Dude, sorcerers just absolutely fry, man. This is completely ridiculous. Completely frying here. Okay, I'll take all that. Okay, I'm doing well. Where are the monsters? Oh. Blizzard, are you kidding me? Oh. Where the F are the monsters? I killed them too fast. What does that even mean? How do they not respawn in two seconds? It's hell tide. I killed them too fast. Bro, all the monsters are dead. This is going to be a terrible event. Well, I was going to easily hit 600, 600 in time for 45 minutes for the first time ever on any character and be above 2400 pace. I would have absolutely crushed it. But, uh, no, the game decided to not respawn the monsters. They need to respawn, I don't know, five times faster than they currently do. Maybe five, six, seven times faster? I don't understand. I still almost made it, by the way. 
And I still almost got got it. Bro, you got to be you got to be fucking kidding me, man. Yeah, this is completely wrong. I need to send Blizzard feedback. You guys have got to respawn the monsters way faster. Still almost going to get it though, running around and not fighting monsters for an hour because ball lightning is so strong. There's no monsters alive. Unbelievable, really. Yeah, TP and come back for a new instance, but... Blizzard's got to respawn the monsters way faster. I missed it by 28 cinders, and I was going to be easily way ahead of it. It's too bad. Well, now I know. Next time in a 15-minute window, you can't run into the same places. The monsters won't be respawned. We need 600 more and then we're done. This does not look like a good event at all. Doesn't look like a good event whatsoever. I'm just going to skip it. We're already here. The Cindy's on these events are very bad. There's a Legion event spawning in Helltide. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to go there. Thank you. That's going to be Mucho El Godo. 100% I'm going there. Okay, let's go to max roll here. Let's go to the world map. And then let's go to the... Um, Draven, Darth, Zelda. Thank you so much for the primes and the subs, guys. Appreciate you. Just gonna run past here, run past all of this. Open this treasure chest. I still have never gotten, I don't think I've ever gotten a crit.
on the chest. Now that's a godly event, sadly. But I don't have time for it. Waves of darkness that just endlessly spawn the monsters. That's one of the greatest ones, right? Just picking up some Cindy's on the way. I think it starts in 38 seconds, right? Now I need to actually just get there. The Legion event in the Helltide. Twenty pieces here. He's back. And he is level sixty nine, just like we like him. Mucho El Strongo. Take all that. Take all this. Does the Legion event, out of any event in the Helltide, give the most Cindy's per hour? Is this like the goat? Start the thing. God, it takes so long, man. Come on. This one behind us. Legions are the best and then good events are the next best. What are the best events like the waves and the jar of souls? Fried. We didn't get the extra guys. Wham. I want to go up and see if this event is still there, the wave of darkness. 
was like right here. There's a lot of Gumbies right here. All right. Rushed. Uh, by the way, I realize I just realized now that I didn't answer that person's question earlier. They were asking. By the way, I only have six minutes to go get the bottom chest. Where is it? It's like bottom mid right here or somewhere. I need to go get that one right now. Okay, let's go down. And let's start getting there. Do I have time to do this event real quick? What event is it? Wayward Soul. That one's not bad, but I'm going to pass on that one. I'm going to pass on that one. Take all that. I have three minutes to open this chest down here. I got a red thing and a fiend rose. All right, we got to open both of those for sure. Okay. 661, huh? Okay, I got 3.30 to open it. Let's go back down. Okay. Here it is. I like that. Okay, and now we're almost done here. Once our total is 600, we're done. And we did very well here, actually. It's a very good run. Considering that we walked into an area with zero monsters. If we hadn't done that, we would have all four chests done at 30 minutes, which would be 2400, 2400 cinder pace in one Helltide, which is about as good as you can possibly do. About the theoretical maximum. Maybe you could do 25, 2600. I don't think much better is even possible. Yeah, this has gone very well. Considering how bad the uh, top thing was. So we just run around, click random shit. Deleted, give me that. Oh, I run faster, I like that. Kapow. Kapow, dead. Here's the event, maybe it'll be a good one. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it will suck. Kapow, kapow. Already killed the guy. Get wrecked. Killed him again. Get wrecked. Wow. 
was the dicking of a lifetime. There's a mystery chest there. The mystery chests only give one. I don't think that's worth my time. Dead. Dead. Everything is dead. All right. It, absolutely incredible. On this sorcerer, on a very good hell tide, I think I could average twenty. I think I could do twenty five hundred, maybe twenty six hundred cinders in a single hell tide. Because I, I'm absolutely frying right now. I, I had such a bad second half on the top loop that if I just corrected it and just walked down instead because the monsters don't respawn fast enough I would at least be at six, 600 maybe higher let's say 2500 I think I could average 2500 on this uh, sorcerer looks like my cheat death fell off let's Oh my fucking god, I just fat fingered a scroll of escape. I can't do that, man. I need these so badly. Incredible that I did that. Trying to right click my elixir and I took a scroll of escape. Terrible. Terrible. Oh, I don't even have a portal. Yeah, so what I I should have easily been able to do three hundred and seven and a half minutes there. I should have I sh I can do higher than that on this sorcerer. I can average higher than three hundred every seven and a half minutes. Not much higher, but maybe three twenty. Maybe three twenty in seven and a half minutes. frying but not when you fat finger scroll of escapes and when you uh, do a second loop on the top loop with nothing spawning never gonna do it like that was there an update today uh, there was the there's the bonus XP the bonus XP they promised us 35 they accidentally gave us they promised us 35 they accidentally gave us 25 so they're redoing it. They said they done goofed. And they will fix it. And Blizzard wonders why we have trust issues. How could they do that to us? Yeah, it was a blizzard 35, yeah.
how. Okay. Done with Helltide. Did the vampire thing move? Yes, let's go do that. We're farming as many durials as we can get. Coca's gone. On to the G Fuel Fruit Punch Chucky thing. You did 60 durials last night. You didn't get shit. A lot. Did you take a close look at all the yellows? I I mean, the Uber Uniques are great, and the Uniques are great. I'm looking at the yellows, man. I want a 925 perfect WAND. I want a 925 perfect chest armor. I want a 925 perfect pair of pants. You know, everyone's always talking about dur durial unique this, durial unique that. Guys, what about the yellows? Well, I'm looking at the yellows, man. I look at every yellow that Durial drops. All of them. One by one. Look, 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 look. Four hundred and five Durials and you kept three yellows. I did one hundred and nine Durials and I kept thirty yellows. Why did you keep three in four times my runs when I kept 30? Maybe it's because I have all the classes and I need shit for everybody, but... I have a feeling if you did 405 Durial runs and you only kept three yellows that you salvaged some godly shit along the way. I look at every single yellow that Durial drops. Any single one of those items could be pretty much the best item in the game. I think people are really, really sleeping on the yellows. What is this thing? You want to order? Are you really hungry? What do you want? You want De Leon's? Tired from what? Blasting? You can order day loans. Just give me one quesadilla, that's all I want. That's all I would order anyway. I'll eat your leftover rice. That you never finish. Dude, ball lightning is pretty much cheating. Just do nothing. Just walk around, everything just dies. I like what's happening here. Not anymore. I was driving Boiler back to the airport yesterday with Sarah and Callie. And Sarah's like, guess what we get to do tomorrow? And I'm like, what? And she said, we're going to go shopping for a Christmas tree. I just look over at Boiler and I say, how much is it to add a, a passenger to Indiana? <laughs> Get Panda. Did we get one? Yeah, we did. I mean, it's not like the male gets to make any decisions in life. Oh, no, I didn't get a plane ticket to Indiana. I got one for Sarah and shipped her ass over there with Boiler. Woo. Just kidding. <sighs> Almost a perfect gravitational there. Should you look at under 900 yellows? If you plan to do a lot of durial runs, I don't know why you would pretty much look at any yellows. 
except for the ones that drop off Duriel. I do check jewelry. I check, check, I try to always check the jewelry no matter what. That's about it. Okay, it's almost time to switch characters, I think. Once the Nightmare Dungeons reset, I'm going to see if I have any keys on my Sorcerer, and if I don't, I'm going to go to another character. Maybe Barb? From De Leon's? Nah. It's Quesadilla every time. It's my favorite thing by far. That's it. That's enough for me. Add whatever you would like. Yeah. Alright, blast. Never actually read what these missions are. I just run forward and blast. Deleted, deleted. Okay. Never tried it. I probably won't have hardly any of it, but if you would like it, I'll try it. But I'm honestly just not all that hungry. I could eat one quesadilla and then I'm happy for it. That we're blasting the vampires. Waves of darkness. I think this is the best possible event in Helltide. This is the highest vampires or highest Cindy's per hour. Ninety dollars, sixty-nine. For what? Oh, because of the Chick Fil A incident. Yeah. Sometimes dreams do come true. What is my ball lightning build? It's the one from Max Roll. It's the end game build, but we're going to have to switch it to the Abattoir build. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's good. These guys are getting plowed. God, that was a bloodbath, man. Okay. Here's a goblin. Bleeding. So we'll take the staff. Can I have the staff? Thank you. A new blue hoodie. Never thought I'd see the day. 
This was the hoodie I wore on the very first stream. It is the total opposite of a blue hoodie. This is the hoodie that started it all. I don't even think I need to be here killing these guys. done with that. Did the things reset? Yes, they did. Okay. What do we have here? We have Sepulture and that's it, right? Sepulture and Forgotten Depths. Oh, I got rid of all of them. Okay, let's go to a different class. That was good. One thing we could do if we wanted is we could really quickly turn all of these sticks into eggs or whatever they're they're called. I don't understand. I turned it in and it only gave me one femur. That's what it gave me. I can see the pain. In we go. Yeah, but um, there is a new, there is potentially a new tech that will, it's possible, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible that druids might actually get the highest, po the highest clear on the avatar of Zir. And that's because of a bug in the damage calculations of one of the passives, Toxic Claws. And what Toxic Claws does, according to Boiler, is it passes the glyphs through the damage calculation twice. If that's true, if Toxic Claws passes the new glyph through the damage calculation twice, well, if the new glyph scales the way that a normal glyph scales, that would make the new glyph by far the most powerful thing in the game. If the by far the most powerful thing in the game passes through the damage calculation twice for a poison shred druid, well, that means the poison shred druid is going to do more damage than anything by far. And they said that they're not going to nerf anything, so... Um, if all this comes true, which it sounds like it's going to, Druid is actually going to do the most damage.
Is there any scenario where you want Endarials over Shaco? If you attack so fast that that lifesteal can keep you alive forever, maybe. Snuggy. Druid has always been the best. Hell yes. Deleted. Now they do 17 damage times 2. Follow your heart. Always look at rings. Okay, none of that's any good. Did I see Elon Musk T100 Druid where he was playing Pulverize and hitting for 80k a piece? I saw that. Given the secret that I said a few months back, when do we get to see the tree that I got today? Yeah. What, uh, what secret, Ghost Runner? Secret, secret. Secret? What secret did I share? You know me, I say a lot of things. What did I say this time? By the way, you want to know what's funny? I just clicked refresh on my notifications, and it just told me that someone gifted 30 subs. Did someone gift 30 subs an hour ago and I missed it? God, I, I, if that's true, I hate these new notifications, man. I hate them. Did someone gift 30 subs? An hour ago? God, man. Um, <sighs> Armchair Maggie, are you here by chance? Is Armchair Maggie here? Or Magpie, not Maggie, I'm sorry. Armchair Magpie. Did you give 30 subs an hour ago? Did that happen? I, I mean... God, that makes me so mad, dude. You didn't? Wait, what? You didn't? And now I'm genuinely confused. Did you, you didn't, you didn't gift it an hour ago? Or you did? It says they gifted one, bro. Maybe, have you gifted 30 total ever in the channel, maybe?
Dude, these alerts are so garbage, man. You're frugal. You've only gifted six in total. So here's what I'm seeing. I can drag it over and show you what I'm seeing. It's telling me that one hour... So I clicked refresh on my notifications just because I'm paranoid, just because I don't want to... I want to make sure that I thank everybody for what, what they do, right? And when I clicked refresh, it popped this up and said that you gifted 30 subs an hour ago. So, uh, anyway, either way, thank you so much for the gifted sub. These notifications are just garbage, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. All that. Unless somebody else gifted 30 and it got the wrong name or something. I don't know. I was about to be very, very mad if someone gifted... If someone gifted um, that many subs and it didn't alert me until an hour later. Makes me mad, man. Fiona, did I say that right? Thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Okay, let's get back in there. Am I blasting? I'm blasting, man. Someone did gift a bunch. Um, that's neither a coma. That's uh, the stream elements activity feed. And now I'm starting to think that I shouldn't use stream elements. Maybe I should use Twitches. <sighs> Let me see if I can actually do that. Can I pop? Let me pop this out. No. Pop out activity feed. Okay. I think I'm going to use this. Wait, but the activity feed. The only problem with the activity feed is it doesn't properly grab donations.
but I suppose that's, I'm going to use the Twitch activity feed from now on. Ghost Runner gifted five. Thank you, Ghost Runner. This. Oh, man, dude. We're going to have to put a statue of Ghost Runner outside of our house. Mr. Drixis, how's it going, buddy? It's going all right, man. What am I hoping to obtain? I don't want any of the items. I just want the eggs. By the way, Ghost Runner, are you starting to acquire uh, durial mats? You, me, Sarah, and somebody else, Lobo or somebody, can do a bunch of durial runs soon. I have... I have maybe... Six or seven summons, maybe. Am I somewhat happy with D4 right now? Uh... I guess it would depend on what you mean by that question. If you're asking me, is the game itself right now great? My answer to you would be no. If you mean, but that's not the way that I view it, though. The way that I, I don't, it's kind of, it's going to sound counterintuitive, right? I don't judge the game based upon, is the game super fun to play right now? That's like the logical way to do it, but that's not how I do it. My interpretation of it is, this game had a really, really bad start. What's the trajectory of the game? If the trajectory of the game was bad, uh, I, I don't know what exactly my course of action would be, but I would definitely at least consider not playing anymore. But that's not the case. The trajectory of the game looks very positive to me, which is what I really care about. Like, for example, like to give you another example... It's not as important to me. Does my bank account have a lot of money in it? It's much more important to me. Am I saving? Is it, tr is it trending upward? Are we not getting into credit card debt? Are we saving? Are we getting a good interest rate? Because as long as it's trending correctly and continues to trend correctly everything will be just fine in no time. So that is the way that I think about it. How are we trending? And if it's fine, if it's going in a good direction, I can live with it. I do think that Diablo 4 is going in a great direction. I think it will continue going in a great direction from what I have heard. So I'm I'm doing just fine over here.
when you're trying to lose weight on a diet, you could start very obese and that's fine. If your weight is trending downward and you're doing the right things to continue to make it trend downward, no matter what your starting point is, you can end up being very fit. Trending correctly, I'm good. You know? R. Buckman, very, very late on this, but thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. Appreciate that. Well, Rax, Diablo 4 is definitely obese. Um, Goo, if you go to the max roll variant at the very bottom of the Ball Lightning Sorcerer Guide, there is an endgame variant called Nightmare Dungeon 100 that builds in a lot of the defense that you're going to need. Copy that setup. Pretty much it involves putting disobedience on your amulet. Captain Honor Seeker lost 40 pounds. Boiler was here for a week. We ate like absolute dipshits while he was here. We went to all the fast food places and didn't care. It was a lot of fun and I'm so glad that I did it. But I told Sarah, I actually told Sarah the day before Boiler left. And uh, I'm doubling down on that promise right now. We got a big Thanksgiving coming up in a few days. But I am absolutely going to lose the weight. I'm actually glad that G Fuel sent me these zero sugar drinks. The moment that I finish drinking this, these last mini cokes that I have, I'm not going to buy them anymore. I'm not going to complete. I'm not going to say I'm going to completely stop drinking pop, but for the most part, I'm going to stop drinking pop. I'm going to eat less, and when I eat, I'm going to eat much healthier. I'm just, there. I'm not. I'm not really even overweight, but. My and almost my entire life, at least 90% of my life, I was the very, very fit, skinny guy. Like, and now I'm like average or slightly above average, and I hate it. I'm not, I cannot stand it. So, I've had enough. I'm just, I'm apps, I'm so done with it. I can't even explain it to you. So, Gonna go on walks and exercise to boost my metabolism. Hopefully I'm gonna start lifting. There's nothing else to do in winter anyway, so I'll probably start lifting. I'm gonna I'm not gonna completely cut out pop, but I'm pretty much gonna cut out almost all of it. That's it. Definitely just had enough of it. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of it. A lot of it is just aging. When you like right now, in this very moment. I eat less. I would say I eat a lot less than I ate as a 21-year-old kid. I The amount of food that I would eat as a 21-year-old would be lethal to most human beings. Like eating two large pizzas for a single dinner. It was impossible for me to gain weight. My metabolism would just vaporize everything. Now it's like if I even look at a piece of chocolate cake... I gained five pounds. But luckily, I started at such a low, thin weight. You know, it didn't like spiral out of control, but I definitely had enough of it. Why not just hit the gym or play some soccer and then keep drinking the pop? It won't be enough, Charles. My metabolism is so bad compared to what it used to be. It's just not enough. You just you just can't drink it. I don't know if I know a single adult, like I'm talking, let's say, 35 or over. I don't know a single one of them that can drink pop all the time and still be skinny. I don't know one person that can get away with that. I don't think it's possible. Or it's very rare. Asmongold. Asmongold, do you guys ever see him eat? Like, I've never seen Asmongold eat anything. I don't think he eats food. 
I always see him with like a Chipotle cup, but I never saw him eat anything. He eats beef jerky. Well, beef jerky is great. Beef jerky, when I was, uh, when I was very, very into fitness, when I was like studying it religiously and trying to be a god when I was a young kid, I did a big analysis on all of the snacks that you could eat, all the places, all the fast food places you could eat, what places actually had a lot of protein relative to like the fat content and stuff. By the way, I did a very thorough analysis some of you may remember this. I told you this on stream. I did an analysis of every fast foods menu. And I came up with what I, what I mathematically thought was the most unhealthy place to eat. Can you guys tell me what I came up with for mathematically the most unhealthy fast food place to eat? If you consider their entire menu. Subway, definitely not Subway. Not Taco Bell. Not five, guys. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. This is going to be a massive... Okay, someone already got it. But I'll give you a hint. The hint is roller skates. That's your hint. Sonic. I never really ate at Sonic anyway, but... Mathematically, Sonic, when, when I did, this was at, when I was 25 years old, I had a massive spreadsheet, did all the calculations. Sonic is the most unhealthy place you can eat. It's just, it's all very high calorie, very high fat for very low protein. It's just straight garbage. Another hilarious thing about it one of the worst ranked places that I came up with for calories and fat compared to protein, which they, a lot of people have the opinion that they are like, like one of the healthy options. It's not true is Panera. Panera was one of the lowest places on my list. Hilariously enough, one of the one of the best places to eat to get pretty high protein for fairly low calorie and fat was actually McDonald's. McDonald's was much higher on my list than I thought it would be. Like if you go to McDonald's and you if you like, if you go to McDonald's and you get a McChicken and you take off the mayonnaise, it's one of the best things that you can eat at a fast food place. Uh, Chick-fil-A was very, very high if you get the grilled option. If you get the grilled nuggets, that's one of the absolute premier fast food things you can get. The grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A are up there with one of the best foods for you that you can eat at fast food. Chick-fil-A is way up there. Chipotle is pretty damn good. Chipotle is usually pretty high in calorie, but the fat to protein ratio is pretty damn good. Chipotle is pretty good. What about Olive Garden? Olive Garden, uh, pretty bad. Olive Garden's pretty bad. Their, their salad dress, salad is just like eating water and you're just putting fat dressing on top of it. Their soups are loaded with sodium. They're essentially a bowl full of sodium. Their pastas are obviously terrible for you. Practically every pasta for you is super high fat and carbs and calories. So pasta is never going to get you there. And then their breadsticks are obviously just giant carb dicks. So that's terrible for you. There's pretty much nothing good for you at Olive Garden.
It's all bad. Hilariously enough, one of the lowest calorie, lowest fat, highest protein ratio foods that you can eat is actually a taco. Especially if they have like a thin shell to it. If you get like a taco at Taco Bell, you're going to get, it's not that high in calories. It's not that high in fat and it's decent in protein. If you just ate hard shell tacos every single day with some salsa and didn't load it with cheese and sour cream, you'd do just fine. It's when you add the cheese, the sour cream, you add the big cheesy gordita with the double, the double uh, tortilla on it. It's when you start doing that, that, well, you took a potential decent meal into trailer trash mode. Um. You're six foot, you weigh 198, and you're 37. You're like exactly the same size as me. You're six foot, I'm 5'10". I weigh pretty much identical to you. So you're two inches taller than me. Same weight, but me being like 198 is an abomination to me. I, at an absolute maximum, want to be 190. But I would prefer to be 185 or 180. And then I'll be good. What's my opinion on canned chicken? I've never had canned chicken in my life. My name is Koros. Thank you for the prime, my friend. Is my build on max roll for the sorcerer? Yes. Go to the max roll ball lightning build. Go to the nightmare dungeon variant at the bottom. That's what we're playing. Canned chicken? I don't think... I've never even heard of that. I don't know. In my calculations, what pizza places are healthier than others? When I looked at the pizza places, I didn't notice a very big variance. It doesn't really matter where you order the pizza from. It, what, what matters is the type of the pizza that you order. And believe it or not, it's really not the toppings. That's not it either. All the toppings are usually pretty equally bad for you. Everyone's like, oh, pepperoni is the worst. It has all that grease and fat in it. Well, not not really, unless you're, if you're comparing a meat to a vegetable, okay, then the vegetable is going to win. But if you, if you do an analysis on all the meats, you'll, you'll see that they're pretty close and that it's just not what determines the health of your pizza. What determines the health of your pizza is the kind of pizza that you get. If you get a Chicago deep dish with a thick crust, that's like 17 years off your life expectancy per bite. It's just a giant, super thick carb ball. But if you get like a thin crust margarita pizza, it's really not that bad. It really has everything to do with the crust and not much to do with toppings or where you order it from. So the smartest thing to do when you want a pizza is just get thin crust. And then you have a, that's, that's the way you're going to eliminate most of the calories and the carbs and the fat. That's the way to eliminate it than any other way. Yeah. So yeah, my friend Kirk was also gluten free. So the gluten-free crusts, because the gluten is like is like 
glue, almost gluten glue. It's like the glue that holds the bread together that lets you have these really thick, fluffy, pillowy pizza crusts, which I don't, um, I don't like that anyway. So I, that's not what I want anyway, luckily. Um, so, uh, when you get gluten free and it doesn't have that glue in it, well, usually your, your crust actually just can't hold itself together. So you get a super, super cracker thin crust pizza and it's usually the, the lowest calorie option possible. Do I think Wizard will be good in Abattoir? If we can solve our defense problems, uh, Wizards will be gods in the Abattoir. Okay, final run. Are you talking to me? What? Callie. Callie, come here. Callie. Wait, you got you got panda? Another perfect umbral. Wow. I'm actually looking at this stuff. Let's vendor that. Let's vendor everything. Vendor it all, it's all bad. All right. We are back, guys. Let me grab a water. And then we are going to do one vampire thing, and then we are going to go to a different class. I think we're going to go barb. Be right back one second.
I would refund that, refund it, because that's not what you ordered. Sarah ordered chips and salsa. They gave her a big plate of nachos, which honestly is an upgrade, but it's not what we ordered. That is not chips and salsa. Yeah, they have nachos at Panda Express. Yeah, they do. We didn't get Panda. We got De Leon's. All right. Um, so I got eight here. I'm going to do something that I'm not sure that I should do. This might be a mistake, but I'm going to do it for science anyway. I'm not going to convert all of my hearts, but I'm going to convert some of them. Do we ever cook? Love that question. We cook all the time, actually. Just this week, we made deli sandwiches. We made bacon cheeseburgers. That was good. Uh, we made like a, a chicken crock pot thing. I forgot what it was. Like a chicken crock pot dip thing made more I made tacos the tacos were godly but the shells from the store were terrible I'm gonna fix it next time I know I already know how I'm going to fix it made tacos those were the tacos themselves were perfect the shells were terrible uh wait we made something else I can't remember yeah we, the answer is yes made roast beef sandwiches. Yeah, we made something else in the crock pot. We made uh, the shredded barbecued, uh, barbecued shredded beef in the crock pot. Uh, we made eggs and bacon twice for, for breakfast. Uh, there's more. There's more meals that we made. This is all recently, by the way. Yes, we cook. Yeah, like barbecued shredded beef sliders, yeah. I do need this ring on my sorcerer. You bought you buy corn tortillas off of Amazon. I was gonna get those. Uh, they have these razor thin hard shell tacos. I can't remember what they're called. They're called like La Tierra or something at the store. And I actually was talking to Lee about it, and I forgot that those existed. Those are like the absolute goats because they're so th razor thin, and they actually have an amazing taste. Yeah, I saw the unkillable barb. It doesn't just work on barb. It works on other classes. I think it works on sorcerer. Yep. Roll daddy. And our waiter called me salad daddy. So we went to, uh, we went to Texas Roadhouse. And whenever you order a meal, they always give you two sides. So I ordered first. It was me, Lee, Kerr, no, me, Lee, Marshall, Boiler, Josh, and Sarah. So he had me go first. So I ordered a steak. He says, what do you want for your sides? I said, I'll take, I'll take salads. He's like, all right, you want a salad? What kind of salad? I go, I don't know, whatever. Any salad. I love salad. 
He's like, okay, so we have a salad for you. What do you want as your other side? I'm not like, a salad. He's like, wait, you want two salads? I'm like, yep. He goes, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. That's amazing. You want the same dressing? Nope. Let's get a different salad. He's like, all right, my man. Then we went over to Sarah. Sarah is an Oompa Loompa. She can't eat. She can't eat anything. She can't eat her main thing. She maybe could eat one side. Certainly can't eat a second side. She's just, she's tiny. So they're like, all right, what do you want? And she, she's just like, I want a loaded baked potato. You know, like, all right, what do you want for your other side? And she's like, uh, just give my other side to Ryan. He's like, okay, you get her other side. What do you want? He's like, let me guess, a third salad. <laughs> yep. He goes, wait, are you serious? I'm dead serious. He goes, dude, you, you're you the salad daddy. He's like, all right, you got a house salad with ranch. You have a house salad with Thousand Island. What are we doing this time? I'm like, you guys have Caesar salad? He goes, yep, let's do that. And then he's like, do you want me to bring the salads early or would you rather have it with the meals? And I looked at him and we're like, do you guys, do you really think that I want to wait for these guys? I want the salads as quickly as I can get them. He's just laughing his ass off. He's like, okay, I should have known. He brings me out like this was a side salad. This is not a side salad. There's three giant bowls of salad. I look like a rabbit. I just start shoveling salad into my mouth as fast as I can. I already ate like a hundred rolls with cine butter and um hundred rolls with cine butter and then it, we ordered a blooming onion side for the table. I'm literally already about to die, and then they bring out a giant juicy steak afterwards. I'm like, oh my Yeah, I mean Lee Lee single handedly put them out of business with how many rolls he ate. Lee was genuinely appalled at the idea. Like the guy, after we had been sitting there for 30 minutes and we had eaten many, many baskets of their rolls. Like there was one basket left on the corner of the table with three rolls left. He's like collecting our plates that are done. And he's like, do you want me to grab uh, that that uh, thing of rolls for you. Do you want me to take that away? You want me to take that from you? And Lee was like very confused. He's like, "What plate does he want?" And then he saw that he meant that he wanted to take like the twelfth basket of rolls away from him after he'd already eaten seventy rolls. And I saw Lee the whole time. I saw his face turn toward the waiter, and he was just like, and he was like. Are you seriously suggesting that you're going to take away three rolls from me? He thought that that was the, the, just the dumbest shit he'd ever, ever heard in his life. Speaking of dumbest shit I ever heard in my life, Barshan just dropped me a three ninety nine dollars Sacred Unique on World Tier 4. It makes no sense. Now Blizzard gets their daily message from me complaining. I consider this a bug. I killed World Tier 4 level 100 Varshan and he gave me a 699 sacred unique ring. At a minimum, all loot from him should be ancestral. But on top of that, I think there should also be a minimum eye level he drops of 850 at least. Imagine dropping me a six ninety nine mother's embrace.
you're a chef at a high-end restaurant, you love going to Olive Garden and just eating the salad and breadsticks. Yeah, I mean, I'm the I'm the piece of shit that has no shame. I will go to Olive Garden and order like a water. I'll have a glass of water, please. Yep, keep the breadsticks a-flowing. Let them flow straight. If you want to, if you guys have a, if you guys have like a laundry chute back there, can we like redirect it through the vents and just have it drop straight into my mouth and you can just funnel breadsticks into my mouth for an hour? <clears throat> the breadsticks must flow. All right. So I have done everything that I can. So I only have four summons in total at the moment. That is terrible. Burger King is better than Wendy's. JS Matt, I hope someone slaps you across the face with a giant dildo for saying that. You deserve it. You need you need to knock that nonsense off. On my way, thank you, Fabron James. Kid him. Lonely Land Party, thanks for the Prime, man. Appreciate it. Burger King is better, I agree. Tangos, if I ever see you in the hardcore PvP arena, I'm going to PK you for saying that. I'm going to be looking for you. You're on my hit list. How did you get that purple emote, Izong? Rax can't handle the truth. There is no human being of sound mind and body that thinks that Burger King is better than Wendy's. They're not even close, man. Wendy's is a lot better than people give it credit for. And Wendy's has one of the best deals in fast food, if not the best deal. The $5 biggie bag. You can, for $5, you can get a double stack, which is like a baby double cheeseburger. You can get a large drink. You can get four nuggies and then wait for this. This is the ultimate tech. You don't get the fr you get fries with the biggie bag, but you sub it for a large chili. That's right. You can sub the fries for a large chili. Do you know how much food that is? A large chili at Wendy's is not is no joke. You get a double stack, four nuggies, a large chili, and a large drink for five dollars. It is almost impossible to get a better deal than that anywhere. The biggie bag is a god tier deal. They think they, you think they let me sub it because I'm famous. 
Yeah, I'd like to sub my fry for a large chili breeze. I'm sorry, sir, we can't do that. That's not a not... Wait, the... Rax? Is that you? <laughs> I got you, bro. We'll sub that fry for a large chili, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, right. It is a huge mistake to not sub your fry for a large chili on the biggie bag for free. That is a huge mistake. BK has ten dollar, one dollar, ten spicy nuggies. What? No, they don't. One dollar for ten nuggies? No. That can't be real. Yeah, I mean Burger King's nuggets suck, but we're gonna get to that part later. The first part is, there ain't no way there's one dollar for ten nuggies. No. That's, that can't be a thing. There's no way that's a thing. If that's true, then that's the best deal by far. They used to have it. Bro, a foot long from Subway used to cost a dollar. Used to have it doesn't count. You're telling me that Burger King right now offers 10 nuggets for $1? No, they don't. I don't know anything about BK, but there's no way that's a deal. I have never heard of that. You want to know what used to be one, what, one of the most God-tier deals ever? Like... Maybe actually, actually probably the best deal ever was Arby's used to give you five roast beef sandwiches for $5. Five roast beef sandwiches for $5. That's probably the best deal I've ever heard of. I cannot tell you how many times Marshall and I went to Arby's and we spent $10 and we got 10 roast beef sandwiches. When you get 10 roast beef sandwiches at Arby's, like, like five each, five is a lot. Like, It's very easy to eat three. Four is like the perfect number. But by the time you get to the fifth, you're like, oh, should I really be doing this to myself? And then, of course, the answer is yes. I mean, you eat it anyway, of course. Can't be a little bitch about it. But that, uh, that fifth roast beef sandwich, whew. That one was a lot. That's that's the inflection point. Too much bread? You can easily solve that. You take roast beef sandwich number one, you take off the bottom bread. You take roast beef sandwich number two, you take off the top bread. Stack them together. Giant ass roast beef sandwich. Got rid of half the bread. Arby's sauce is low key goaded. 
it's very weird, but it just goes so well on the roast beef. Arby's sauce is one of those things. It just works and nobody knows why. All right. You worked at Arby's when that deal existed and so many sandwiches were made. Thank you for single-handedly keeping me alive for all those years. Carolus, thank you so much for the super chat. Yo, Rax, is it possible to power level me and my brother through world tier one, two, and three? Are you on hardcore? I'm only on, I'm only on hardcore. I don't know how power leveling works, but I can certainly smash the uh, capstone for you. I don't think I can level you. They got rid of the, uh, they got rid of power leveling. They got rid of power leveling, I think. Um, but I can clear the capstones for you. Yeah. I mean, well, you can, you can power level, but it's just nowhere near as fast, right? Before you used to be able to, before you used to get the XP of the monster level. Now they capped it at only plus 10, right? Yeah, you can make a full D3 character in an hour. It's capped at plus 10, though. Yeah, it seems crazy fast because leveling itself is crazy fast. But the mathematical formula is tremendously nerfed. Firewall is still the best source for leveling build. Yes, it is. Firewall rules. Until you get the ball lightning power. Firewall rules. In the early game, it's just... Even if you had the ball lightning power early game, Firewall would still be better. I don't think ball lightning can possibly be better than Firewall until uh, the capstone, probably. Um, I can clear the capstones for you if you need help, Carolus. Do you do you need it right now? Uh, remember, when you're playing without me, you gotta like survive. Are you guys like at least level forty? What level are you guys? But yeah, I can go in there and clear the capstone for you if you want. It's not a big deal. Let me in. What? Okay, what level are you guys, Carolus? You're 18 and 18? Okay, do you want to get to, like, at least level 40 so you don't get shit on? You, you can't even get... You can't even get a sacred item until you... You can't even equip a sacred item until 45 anyway. But yes, I would be happy to clear it for you. That's not a big deal at all. What do I need to do here? Go out here. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Right. They can sit at the front. I mean, I can clear it for you right now if you just want to sit at the front door. Do you want the clear right now, Carolus? What's your post your gamer tag? I can clear it for you. Did I play Lost Ark ever? I did. I... My uh, Berserker was a god. I really, 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 really low-key like Lost Ark. Here but for T, thank you for the Prime. Fez, thank you for the Prime. WK Knight, thanks for the resub.
Big bonk, big smash. Big smash. Big smash. Ow. Ow. Boom. Does anybody have a link to Rob's uh, abattoir board? I want to see what glyphs he what glyph he drops, so I don't level the wrong glyph. Did he drop Marshall? Did he drop Exploit? You're on Xbox. That shouldn't matter. What's your Battle.net account name? Post your Battle.net account name, Careless, if you can find it. Where is it? If you press O. Where is your Battle.net account name? Just pre press O on your controller. Uh, where do you where do you see your name? Go to Add Friend, O, and then Add Friend. Yeah, okay. This. Click Add Friend and tell me what the thing is. Boy, they certainly didn't make that counterintuitive, did they? Hey guys, I'm making the I'm making the Diablo 4 Battle.net thing. I got this awesome idea. You want to know where we're gonna put someone's account name? Hidden under the add friend button. They'll never find it there. <laughs> God, Blizzard, you suck, man. That's a great laugh, Rax. Congrats. Well, I was just imitating Blizzard. That's not my own laugh. That's what Blizzard said. Does Blizzard suck as much as Burger King? Uh, no. Not that much. Wait. I didn't even plug the Nightmare Dungeon? God, I'm stupid. All right, let's help Carolus here. Another super chat. Don't need to do that, Carolus. I'll help you for free. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Sent you a friend request. <laughs> you like that the cursor matches my hoodie? Had to do it, man. Had to do it. Anything doesn't matter. Gauntlet, sure. Chiraco Caverns lit. Can you can you enter the capstone at 18? I mean we're about to find out. All right. O'Malley, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. 
Oh, World Tier 1. I don't do I have to be at the fountain for them to do it okay do I maybe I have to be there too oh okay my bad I fucked that up I'm here my bad but pow Can I immediately clear the next capstone for them as well? Is this Rax that I'm seeing a clone? You know, I was hoping... I was hoping that nobody would figure out that I wasn't the real Rax. This is just the AI version, but how did you figure that out? I didn't expect people to figure that out that quickly. Stay here, guys. You will get one-shotted by everything. Do not follow me. <clears throat> Are you guys getting good XP in here or no? Yeah, you're welcome. We can do the next capstone after this if you want. We can just go straight to it. You obviously are going to have to step in very carefully or it will be the end of your character. Or we can wait until you're like at least 50 so you could take a hit from something. When you guys get a little bit closer to where it would actually help you, I can, or we can do it right now if you want to do it now, either way. You guys, be careful at the entrance. They're saying sometimes mobs can spawn at the entrance. So just be careful. See anything? Step out of the door immediately. There's no music. I cannot play music on YouTube. It's not allowed. That's why there's no music. I 
I am picking up the weapons for you guys, which is you guys can use for later. I'm only going to pick up helmet or weapons. Hello, can I move? Game? No! Someone was slain. How? It's okay. Just make a new character. Make a new character and step in. Not a big deal. It's okay. We'll be fine. Make a new character and step in. Not a big deal. I know how I will get you to level 17 in two seconds. Not a big deal. Make a new character, step in, we'll wait for you. And I'll get you to 17 in two seconds. Trust me, there's no one better in the universe about the level 17 than me. The clam, if you want, try go to town and port to me. Should be fine to go... Here's a bunch of weapons that you guys can share. You guys can share these weapons with each other later. Pick up all those weapons for later and you guys can share them. Yep. Okay, stay here. Let me go kill him. Stay there. Maybe you'll get loot from there. Who knows? Kapow. Come on down. Maybe you have some loot down here. There should be no monsters. Okay. Now let's go to Kmart and let's go to World Tier 3. And let me get you back to level 17 in two seconds. So back to the statue, World Tier 3. Okay, stay here and let me run to the capstone for you. Let's see if the capstone gets you back to level 17. If not, I will level you for two seconds. <laughs> stay in town for now. And yeah, try to make a level 5 potion if you have enough mats to do so. A level 5 XP potion. That was not your fault that you died. You were just standing at the door and essentially just Blizzard hates you. I thought there was a level 5 XP potion. The cannibals hop the gap. Okay. You can port to me now. Macro Bio Boy raided me with 218 viewers. 
God, Big Daddy Mac is here. I'm feeling better already. How are we doing macro? I can make an incense. Okay. Do I have one? Can you guys port to me? If you go down, there we go. Yep. Perfect. Stay there. You can stay there the whole time. You don't have to move. I'm going to try to kill every single monster this time. Yeah, that doesn't look easy, man. I'm excited to see what you came up with. I got my macro certified uh, bone spear build ready to go. Looks like he's already flying up the levels anyway. Already level nine. A pow. Smash already level ten. Welcome everybody from Macro Stream. We're helping some friends just get to World Tier Four here on Hardcore, and we're gonna blast some um, some World Tier Four stuff. Should be good. Kapow. World boss in twenty. Okay, thank you. Pick up all these weapons to give to them. That's a weapon. Need to keep giving them weapons. He's 11, he is 12. Thirteen, take that mace. Take the axe. 
They sure are giving us a lot of weapons over here. Laundry, man. Damn, your uh, output has been very high today. Blasting. What's your fee? <laughs> what? I was gonna say, I want to break your ass sincerely, Ryan. I'm so dead. Remember the email? Yeah. Sarah got a very heart. Can I tell, chat? Sarah got a very heartwarming email from a viewer the other day. It was a guy from France, and he said. He essentially said, Hello, I want to break your ass. Sincerely, Jacques, or whatever the hell his name was. What a heartwarming love message. Watch this. Pow! Gone. 133 million. Screw you, Elias. Do they get loot here? If I stand here, do they get loot? Let's see. Can you say that in a Borat accent? I want to break ass. Yes, sincerely, Borat. No, no, no. They're walking to me. Why? No. No, not the babies. No. Okay, let's do, let's try it one more time. It's all right. Redo, redo. I guess it's partly my fault. I misled them. I wanted them to port to me. But then I saw them running and I was like, "No!" Uh, Carolus, invite me again on World Tier 2. Let's go again. It's all right. They left. Oh yeah, they they left. They they left the Diablo world. They're they're dead. But we're gonna redo it. It's all right. Y y that's true. I did say I would kill every single monster, and I did kill ninety nine percent of them. 
It's okay. We go again. Invite me again, Carolus. Not a big deal. World Tier 2, let's go again. By the way, I'm going to give you guys a gift. He named his character Chipotle. Smart, because Chipotle can never die. Bro, when I saw them running, I I was big sad. I saw the dots moving. I was like, no. Yeah, we should have used timeout. We're going to use timeout from now on. Yeah. We have three deaths so far. Yeah, for some reason, monsters spawn at this door. Or to me. Each one of you drink one of these. Take one of those. Okay. I'm going to open every fucking door in here. So far, every single monster is dead. When I kill the boss on the first floor, um, once he's dead, go to town and port to me on the second floor. I don't think you can die on the second floor, right? I think I've killed every single monster so far.
I'm killing every single one of these pieces of shit. Alright. They're dead. Okay, once I port, once I kill these guys, go to town, guys, and then port to me. So you're on the same floor as me. Okay, port, leave and port to me. Yeah, you're welcome. Go ahead and leave, leave, leave. Or to me. I'm going to put you in the corner here. Should be nice and comfy back here. I have to kill every monster in this room, so should be quite simple, really. Kill them all. You might also have some loot here. But yeah, it's so cozy down here. Very cozy. By the way, wait a minute. I just remembered something. When you get to the end of this, they spawn a pack of monsters on some person. Are they going to spawn it on them? Wait a minute. Is it guaranteed to spawn on them? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm sending them to town. Can you both TP to town, please? Yep, go to town, go to town, go to town. Okay, stay there for a moment. I'm almost certain every single monster here is dead, right? They're all dead. You should be able to run around and loot everything. I don't think that's possible for there to be a monster. I killed all of them. You guys can share that loot. 
I'll be back and I'll be back to do the other capstone for you in a second. Just go to world tier three and chill for a second. All right, let's see if I can one shot this world boss. Last time I hit him for 300 million. Rem Sanaj, thank you so much for the prime, my friend. Buckman, thank you for the donation, man. When you level your glyphs, do you do max level nightmare dungeons or speed them? Buckman, you should do the highest level nightmare dungeon that you can do where it doesn't slow you down. So the answer would be speed them. If you can speed no hundreds, do that. If you can't. then I would do it uh, lower. I usually don't do Nightmare Dungeon, at least on Hardcore, I don't do Nightmare Dungeon 100s to level my glyphs. Uh, I looked at Snails and Rob's, and they were almost identical, the, uh, the builds. It's really not much leeway on the bar builds. I can't remember. It's either Snails or Rob's, one of the two. Oh, shit. I don't have the right stuff on. How long? 143. Let's see if I can fix this. Smash, smash. Can't see my buffs. Uh... Let me go fix this. Smash. Smash, smash. Now I have it correct. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This is going to overpower and it's going to crit. Are you guys ready to see Big Bonk? Hello. <sighs> Thanks. I think I'm going to hit him for 150 million. All right, let's try to hit him harder than that. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who's ready for a big bonk? Big bonk, big bonk, big bonk. Pow, 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 evade. Boom! It's only 146. And then 69. Wah. Isn't that good? Yeah. Almost, but I wasn't I wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. That was still a pretty big bonk. Okay. Carolus, uh, invite me. Yeah, I hit him for 146 on the first attack and then 69 on the second one. Yesterday, I hit him for 201 on the first one and then 101 on the second one. So I hit him for 302. Nice, nice. All right, here we go. Round two, round two.
she is. Does she have her own mat? <laughs> the trolling is getting stronger with the Diablo streamers. Okay. Both of you do me a favor. If Elias dies and it says that you've completed the dungeon, for the love of God, the moment that you see that you've completed the dungeon, teleport out and go go back to world tier one where it's comfy. And for the love of God, do not kill these characters. Up how we go this way now. Not ready yet. Trying to give them a couple little sneaky levels here. While I can. Not ready yet. Fourteen guessing they'll be about back up to 17 when I'm done, but at least they'll have both capstones done. And they have some very nice weapons waiting for them later. It's going to be a million times better than what they could have before. Actually, they might even be level 18. <gasps> Are you streaming tonight? Just shower, it'll wake you up. No, I'm all right. I'm fine. Yeah, sometimes I just don't feel very good, but I'm fine. It's nothing. Yeah, what could go wrong up here? Yeah, who knows? Well, we're about to find out. I'm sure something could go wrong. Who knows what it is? I have a cheat death on right now, Kek W. All right. Here we go. I'm 
to pick up all these weapons so they can have some nice weapons. Bonk, big bonk. There's 16. There's 17. Might even get to 19 here, let's see. Maybe I can find enough monsters to get them a 20. Okay, so they're still getting a net gain on their levels because I think they started at 18 and 15. So that's nice. Take that. 20. Can we get a 21 even, maybe? Our dream's a thing. Maybe Elias will get them to 21. I hope Elias is ready for a big bonk. Sarah's always ready for a big bonk. Kapow! Boom! 230 million. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, port out, port out, port out. Live, 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 live. Um, I got some stuff for you guys. If you port to town. You're the shit racks. I love your mentality. Thank you, my friend. Blast forward only. Okay. Would you like some stuff? Can you see this stuff? Can you pick it up? If you can pick it up, pick it up. Put it in your stash. It'll be good later. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. He's goblin. I like that. There. Yep. Share the loot. Share the loot. Yep. Yep. I like that. Go to Kmart. Back to World Tier 1 for you guys. You're welcome. GG. Sorry it took two tries. Big bonk. an amulet that can make you immortal you cannot die it's only off of durial very rare no i only have one uber unique the grandfather the grandfather gives you 108 to all stats 84 percent increased damage and 4584 life that's probably more health than your entire sorcerer has. That's good. If I were you, I wouldn't. Don't do that. Save save your mats. But that's good, yeah. Because you wanna we want to do them together as a group. Because you need you desperately need a ring off of him. If you use all your mats, then you can't give other people rings. 
you should do exactly what I'm doing. Top of the hour, do the vampire thing. Every Helltide or world boss, do that. Otherwise, go to Nightmare Dungeons. Yep. Usually the smartest thing you could do at any given moment is just blindly do whatever I tell you to do. It's usually the way. Like, for example, it's not fun. Well, right, like, if we're driving down the road and you see a McDonald's and you get excited, I would say something like, no, wait for another two minutes and we'll get to a Chipotle. Stuff like that. Chipotle is goaded. There there are only two rules about Diablo. The first rule is play whatever is fun to you. The second rule is disregard rule number one. It's all about efficiency. Those are the rules. Big bonk, big bonk. By the way, uh, Carolus and your friend, are you there, by the way? Um, have you guys stepped out and fought yet on World Tier 1? Because if you haven't, I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion for you. Because you guys are level 20-something now, right? Are you guys still there? Or have you guys already went out and fought? Yeah, uh, let me give you a big hint. Before you go out and even fight on World Tier 1, make sure you acquire some gear. Go to the vendors in town and spend some money, some of your gold, and get some gear. Put some yellows on. Put 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 on gear. If you're not wearing gear, if you're level if you're wearing level 1 gear, and you go and you fight, I don't know, a level 20 dog, they're probably going to kill you instantly. So, make sure you got some gear. Go to the vendors and buy some stuff. Sure. What you should do is stream Diablo for a little bit and then switch to Call of Duty and see if your audience hates it or if they stay. Yeah. They still might watch you, though, since it's a new game. It might be worth a try. It's up to you. Okay. Am I going to die here on my barb? God. Imagine standing next to an elite that's not killable. <laughs> Ravnica. <laughs> Thanks for the 18 months. Uh, did you say anything to the girls already, Sarah, or no? 
Uh, Grim Reaper, thank you so much for the eight months. Ravnica, I think we're going to cut the race because, well, I mean, it's for a lot of reasons. I'm not pointing blame. It's nobody's fault, but the the girls haven't practiced. DMs, variety streaming. Mods is variety streaming. Woody is just spending all day getting ready for Avatar of Zir. And I'm not sensing, like, the whole point was to have fun, even though it's not about fun, but to portray the girls in a good light. But if you guys aren't going to practice, it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a fair match. I don't think. I know you were on, I know that you were on practicing all the time. I know you were blasting, but, uh, yeah, I don't think that, I don't think the goals of the event are going to be met. I don't think this is going to portray the girls in a good light unless you would practice, but that hasn't happened one time in two weeks, so I guess let's just call it. So I already messaged DM, Mods, and Woody, and I just, I just said, let's call it. We can revisit it in the future if... If... Uh, if the opportunity presents itself. But, uh, yeah. I think if you girls would have practiced and been really into it, that it could have actually been a close race. I think it would have been fun. But, uh, yeah. That is okay. At the beginning of next season, you guys should consider making an all-girl team. I know Alina usually plays with her family, so maybe she wouldn't be down for that. But maybe you guys could make an all-girl team if there was another good girl player. And you guys could practice, and I could help you, and then you, guys, you girls could fly. You can easily, easily reach level 100 in a single stream with how easy the game is. That would absolutely be the goal, is to get to level 100 in one sitting. You should be able to do it easily. If you practice and make the four-player... A good four-player team. And I can help you girls practice and set it up. But it's like... Yeah. Definitely under 24 hours to 100. Okay, done with that one. Big bonk, big bonk. Alright. The dungeons are... Helltide is going on, but Helltide I'm very far ahead on. I don't need to do Helltide. Dead Man's Dredge is not possible. Oblivion is not possible. Onyx hold is not possible. Crumbling Hekema. Never heard of it. So this is like the worst rotation ever. Um, hmm. Maybe I could go open one Helltide chest. would fill in for the last spot. You're not a female, though. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we can... It's up to them. It's just an idea for them. They can do whatever they want, but... would be cool to see an all-girl team, you know, showing some girl power. That would be cool. a cool thing. Do 
There's a girl that plays, she streams, she has a team of four girls that play on hardcore. That, that is cool. Do I not have Hemo in? I don't. Hemo requires what exactly? Hemo requires three skulls. I wonder how Boiler's doing back in Indiana. Yeah, I think she's the only thing that mattered. Do I miss Kelly? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen her. Big bonk, big bonk. Beat an event in three seconds? Okay. We should order her on Amazon some dental treats or something, dental sticks that she can chew on. Try to help her teeth and her breath is currently a lethal weapon. I'd rather get burned by the fires of Onyxia than have Callie breathe toward me. I'm only going to grab two of these thingies. Scroll of Escape, thank God.
brush her teeth. That'll make her breath minty fresh. What we need to do is flip her upside down and duct tape her to the top of our car. And then we need to take her through a professional car wash. You know, that just blasts her with soap and water and does the funny little fuzzy little spinny thing that dries her off. I think that's the only way. Bonk. I wonder if the new glyph, the new glyph just applies to all damage, right? So there's no reason to think that the new glyph wouldn't apply to Hemo. So is Hemo going to be the best vampire power for all abattoir builds? Every four seconds you AoE pentakill the, the room. Have I thought about death blow and you would replace what exactly? What would you replace on death blow? The 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 generator, I guess. Any groups for Duriel soon? Um, I've got maybe like six summons for him. Maybe not even that many. Not doing as well as I would have liked, to be honest. Um, it's probably going to wait for Sarah to get to 100. She needs to get to 100, so then I... What? Your glyphs are 21? Absolutely not. I will kill Duriel in one hit for you. He's going to go bonk. He's going to die. You need to be 100 and you need to have max poison resist. That's it. What? How many Duriel summons do you have? Do you know? So just do Helltide and Tree of Whispers. Someone can look at your mats later and tell you how close you are. Yeah, you can probably get rid of the... You can probably get rid of the... Um, generator. The generator. 
on our chat. You have 60? You have 60 what? Durial summons? On hardcore? Oh my god. You have 60 Durial summons on hardcore? Is that what you're telling me? Um, so one rule that I have, guys, you're not on hardcore. No, that's okay. One rule that I have for myself is when I do group Durial runs, I will always pay my way equally. I will never leech a single run from anybody. So when we start, the first thing that I do is I tell the group, okay, Who's got the lowest number of summons? And it's like, I don't know, someone has seven. Fine. So then we all contribute exactly seven summons. Trade it to me. We plug them all, and that's it. So everybody pays equally. I'm not going to... You guys are super kind. You guys would... I know you would. You would gladly just feed me Durial kills all day long until I got every uber unique and da-da-da-da-da. But I do not... I don't think that that's ethical. I am not going to do that. I'm going to pay my way equally every time. I'm not going to leech off of you guys. I don't like that. So, I'm going to pay my way equally. Pay my way equally. And then we go. That's why I only have 109 Durial kills. Believe me, I could have logged in on the first day and said, okay, when you guys are 100, feed me your Durial kills. And I don't even know how many we could have done by now, but. I'm going to pay my own way. You don't mind giving me the runs. I know, guys. I know you guys are very nice. This is the best. This is the best event, by the way. This is the best one. Waves of Darkness. You sit here and you hemo in the middle. Pow. Hemo in the middle. It's just as many waves as you can possibly kill over and over and over. Not doing too well. Okay, we're on wave eight. Right, nine. How? Wave 11. Twelve. Wave 13. Oh. And then we get very many Cindy's. Look how many Cindy's we got. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Kapow, kapow. Look how many Cindy's we got. Kapow, kapow. Mm 
Okay. Shower time? Okay, 292, where is the chest? It is here, let's go. Always take the Fiend Roses, never have enough of those. When I'm done streaming, I might uh, take Cali on one of those things where you move your legs. Wow. Why'd you say that to her? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot that it rained. Well, maybe not then. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I. Maybe I will take her. I forgot that it was raining all day. That just makes it way worse. I forgot. All right, let's plug some, let's plug a nightmare dungeon, I guess. Wait, okay, yeah, let's plug a nightmare dungeon. Um, does anybody have Rob's Abattoir Hoda Paragon board? Can anybody link that to me if you have it? I just want to see what glyphs he takes at 21. What? But do those, are those for you? Thank you. I'll try, see if they fit, why not? Yeah, that's the main thing. Okay, so. He keeps Marshall, Crusher, And Wrath. Ire, Marshall, Crusher, Wrath. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Big bonk. Would you like a barb lesson on how to play barb, sir? Watch this. Okay, watch this one. Do this lesson. Big bonk. Over here. Big bonk. Over here. Bonk. That's it. Bonk. Bonk. Look, objective. Bonk. Sometimes you have to bonk twice if things don't go your way. Bonk. That's it. That's the lesson. Bonk. Yeah, so Woody, I don't know who discovered it. Woody or Rob or one of their viewers told him. I have no idea who discovered it. I don't know who gets the appropriate credit. You want to know what we just figured out? That damage that you see, it looks like it's poison damage, right? It's not. It's like shadow damage over time and Blizzard colored it green. So everyone keeps complaining about poison, 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 poison. But it's not poison damage. I tested it. Well, you um, you put on one way to test it is you run around with max shadow damage over time, and it doesn't do anything to you. And then you take your shadow damage over time off, and then you die in one hit. Yeah, the... 
first of all, it's not poison damage. That's the first. That's the first thing to understand. The second thing to understand is it's just completely tuned incorrectly. There are so many things that are coded incorrectly in this game. It's it's insane. The XP for the event is wrong. It shows a green poison damage tick. It's not poison damage. It shows uh, uh, the damage calculation of Shred Druid takes the glyphs twice. So the new glyph that's coming out in the new endgame thing, druids get two of them if you play shreds. So they might be the best class in the game just for that reason. Rogues have 22 combo points, supposed to have three. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. A problem, a problem, a problem. Here, there, here. There's a problem, problem, problem. I'll tell you what, next season is going to be like a completely new paradigm because they're going to fix overpower. Damages over time don't really work either when you do it or when you receive it. The, the visuals don't show the right element. Stuff's getting double calculated. Stuff says that you get this bonus. It doesn't give you this bonus. It says that it attacks this fast. It doesn't attack that fast says that you generate this much, much essence from a necro passive. It's not how much essence you generate. It's just, it's very, very wrong in many places. And if they actually fix all of it, well, the game's going to feel a hell of a lot different. Yep. I would like to... Uh do something with her even though it's shitty outside. Problem is if she just runs through all the grass, if I walk her out, then she's gonna get all wet. Yeah, I know, but then she's gonna smell like shit. I know it's water, but... But there's no guarantee it's not gonna be wet tomorrow, and then if I don't take her out tonight, then, you know, she needs to be outside and doing something. She's a dog, so it's like... I think I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her. Come here. Come here. Hi. Good girl. Ellie, you wanna have fun later? I'm gonna take you. Oh, I just got to one HP. <laughs> Ellie, we'll play later. <sighs> According to Boiler, Druid gets two times the new glyph if you play Shred. So, Shred might be the ultimate big bonk for next season. Or the so it's Crusher, Ire, Marshall. So Crusher is sixteen. Let's go Ire. Let's vendor this stuff. What do you expect from a small indie studio? Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't mean this in like a, a negative way. I guess, I guess it's just going to come across in a negative way, I guess, but it's not really my intention. But if you want my, you know, my honest opinion of what do I expect from Blizzard, um, I really don't ever expect Blizzard to release something that works perfectly. Not because I think they're stupid or incompetent, it just it just doesn't happen. It's very, very rare that something that is not tested by the public just works. That does not happen very often. Now, maybe it's hard as a developer to get it exactly right. Fine. 
That's fair. Sure. I'm not, it's fine. It's just over the years, when something is released, the, the first thing that's going to happen is we are going to go test it and see if it actually does what it says. And there is no expectation that it's going to do exactly what it says it does. It's not like, usually they aren't like, way off usually um again it's not meant as an insult to blizzard but you know for example the abattoir of zir is coming out they I guess they didn't make any promises, right? They didn't say everyone's going to be able to complete it or not. They didn't make that. They didn't make any kind of promises that way, one way or the other. So that's fine. But it is my understanding that their intention is for tier 25 to be very either impossible to obtain or unobtainable. But I was talking with Rob last night and we were looking at this we were looking at the numbers on my stream. I don't know if you guys were here last night, but we made a lot of assumptions. We assumed that the the glyph would scale as other glyphs do, and we have heard a rumor that the increase in HP will be 25% increase every single round. So then we did some calculations and if those two assumptions are true, the Avatar of Zir tier 25 will be cleared on the very first day. If our math is correct. And it, if the toxic claws things works in the rogue 22 combo points and the ball lightning sorcerers can survive and da 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 hoda barb. Every single class should be able to do it except potentially Necro. Let's see Necro. Can Necro survive? Can Necro do enough damage? That's the calculation that we had going yesterday. So it is completely possible that our assumptions are wrong. They could all be wrong. One or two of them could be wrong. We don't know. But our, our assumptions were as reasonable as possible. And if if they're correct, then the Avatar of Zero will be, will be cleared in one day by almost every class, which I think would be a sad result. Bone Spear is still crushing. Unless uh, Infinimist, unless Infinimist is way stronger than Bone Spear, which I don't believe that it is. I don't think Bone Spear is strong enough with the calculations that we did. I don't think it's strong enough. Again, love to be wrong, but we're just relying on pure math here. Bone Spear is certainly, certainly nowhere near as strong as uh, Ball Lightning, Hoda, or probably a 22 point combo rogue, or combo point rogue, or a double dipping Toxic Claws Druid. It would just be the weakest. You got a Doom Ringer. It's a good, good find. Keep you alive.
I like how the 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 weapon is called Doom Bringer. So it brings doom, and yet the entire purpose of it is to just keep you alive. A better name for Doombringer would be Healy McHealerton Never Dies Sword. But it, it but the name is Doombringer. Very inappropriately named. It doesn't bring any doom. Lifebringer would be a much better name. Doombringer doesn't bring any doom at all. Lifebringer is an option. I prefer what I said though. Healy McHealerton sword, I think, is even better. What about the grandfather? Mmm, grandfather. Yep, I got that on. I like that. I'm soak. Thank you so much for the resub, man. Appreciate you. Here we go. For Hoda, is Shaco better than a perfectly rolled Tusk Helm? Uh, I would way rather have a Shaco. Shaco gives you massive CDR, massive life, 20% DR, 4 to all skills. Uh, I'd way rather have a Shaco. Crusher and Ire are there. Marshall is the next one. And the last one was... Ire? Marshall. Crusher. Wrath. Okay, the other one is Wrath. So I do not need to level Dominate. Okay. I don't really want to do a level with a Pikachu, but I guess. Actually, I don't want to do a level with a Pikachu. Let's just do Renegade, so I'm going to override it. Will Max Roll ever add Uber Uniques to their builds? Um, well, we didn't want to add Uber Uniques at the start because it's unreasonable for casuals to have them. Um, I do think for the Abattoir, for the super endgame builds, there at least needs to be an Uber Unique version. Because a lot of people have been farming Durial for exactly this purpose. So, um,
I'm quiet tonight or just big chilling, man. You did 80 runs and got no uber uniques. Yeah, I have I have uh, 109 and one. I have a hundred and nine and one. Okay, we can squeeze in one more here. This should be fine. You made you took my advice, you made my ball lightning sorcerer and you killed Lilith? Hell yeah, man. GG's. Very nice. Um, if it's soft core, man, you shouldn't have any pr issues. Hoda Barb hits really hard. If you've got like a decent Paragon board and you're following the max roll guide, your Hoda Barb should kill Elias in one or two hits. You should be able to try it at 60. I mean, in softcore, who cares? If it doesn't work out, okay, just try it later. But uh, you can definitely do, certainly, you can do the, if you've got some codex powers in there, you can certainly do the capstone at 20. Go that way. Big bonk. Big bonk. Yep. One more spider thing. There it is. Big bonk. Bonk. How? Let's go. Don't need to kill anything. Run through. You have 18 Durial runs and how many Ubers? Uh, four. Slay the spider callers. Boom. I've done 109 Durials. I won't have enough to do Durial runs today, if that's your question, but I've been farming Durial mats all day long to do runs. Pow. 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 Smash. 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 Vent. Don't want that. Go this way. Big smash. Big smash. Boom. Out of my way. Smash. Boom. Level up the glyphs. The vampire thing moves. Go. This build is on max roll. It's the Hoda Barb guide. Yep. Yes, sir. I'm sure Snail is working on a... Snail is working on a version for... Abattoir, and I'm sure it will be godly. It will be out soon. It'll be out plenty in time for the Abattoir. All the class leads of Maxroll are currently working on min-maxing the ultimate abattoir boards. They have already been working on it, so they'll be out soon. 
this is actually probably, I'll be honest with you, this particular exercise for max roll is probably one of the easier exercises. And the reason why is, well, how do you make your abattoir thing? You just, uh, you just uh, make the godliest build you possibly can. This is exactly what max roll is. These players, usually the players for max roll are all like world record holding pros, right? Usually they have to alter their thinking when they're making a max roll guide. They're like, okay, I would play it this way with no survivability and nothing and just, I would make it really hard on myself, but it has a really high output, but that's not good for the general public. So how do I change my thinking so it's good for everybody, right? This is not that. This, you just make the godliest possible build with the best shit you possibly can for the ultimate end game. This is actually much more what they're used to doing. So I would imagine, it, for me, it would be way easier for to theory craft the ultimate damage Hoda barb that can survive Abattoir than to what Hoda build would be good for 99% of people? You know? So if ever there was a moment where the max roll boys are going to succeed, it's going to be making this. Take the blood lure, I'll take the flowers. Great tunes as always. Thank you, man. I'm glad you like the music. Sorry to the YouTube folks that can't listen to it. Maybe one day YouTube will let me pay a fee where I can play whatever I want and they won't de demonetize me. I would probably be willing to spend up to $500 a year if they would just let me pay play my music because I think the YouTube audience would like that a lot better, but It is what it is, as they say. Big bonk. Okay. Any more things that I can actually do? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Try this one. This barb is a one man wrecking team. My barb doesn't give a French toast about anything. My barb just plows everything.
I do want to try to get as much sigil dust as I can just so I can keep crafting these avatars. Just in case, I don't want anything to be stopping me. Scroll of Escape. Kapow. Ooh. Ooh. My barb doesn't give a French toast about anything. Look at this guy. Boom. Gone. Boom. Dodge out of the poison. Haha. Uh -huh. Here's the guy right here. The boom. Gone. I don't like these damage resistance boys. Boom. Turn it in. Go through the door. Lay the Sentinel Guardian. He's dead. Let's go. How hard is it for someone that knows nothing about Diablo to start the journey on Diablo 4? May I give you two hints on that intensity? I'll give you two hints on starting Diablo 4 if you've never played it. Remember something. You only get one opportunity to be new to a game. What I would heavily recommend that you do, fire up the game, don't read any guides, fire up the campaign, go through the story of the game, and just enjoy it. Just play the game, make your own build, haha, -ha, whatever looks good. There is a 0% chance you will actually make a good build, and it doesn't matter at all. Just enjoy the game and experience it for yourself for the first time. Get through the campaign, struggle through it, ha ha. Okay. Then, when you've beaten the campaign, feel free to keep exploring if you want and make your own builds. But when you are ready to become good at the game and learn, really learn how it works so you can do like the end game stuff, then you simply go to maxroll.gg. Click on the Diablo 4 thing. That's literally all the info you need. It's got every guide there you could ever want in the menu. Read and learn. Make one of their... There's going to be tier lists that will show you the best builds in the game. Make one of them. And work on it. And I, I guarantee you then you will be dominating. Those are my two pieces of advice to you. Play the game by yourself, on your own, in the campaign, have fun, learn, make mistakes, who cares? Then, when you really want to learn, go to maxroll.gg. That's going to be the best experience for you. You get to, get to have fun on your own and enjoy the game, and then you can actually learn to be good as quickly as possible. I'm biased. I am the CEO of Maxroll, and I've been on Maxroll since it started, so I'm very biased toward Maxroll. So you can have the chat chime in on how they feel about it, but I think Maxroll is the best site for all things Diablo by a mile. I don't think it's even. I don't think it's even close. I don't think any site is even close. That's my opinion, but I am heavily biased. I don't think it's close at all. I'm the CEO of Maxwell, yeah. Now, but let me let me clarify something though. Let's let's make it perfectly clear what I said and what I didn't say. I said Maxwell has the best guides for Diablo, period. 
But what I did not say is our guides are perfect. I did not say we don't make mistakes. I did not say <clears throat> sometimes we are wrong. None of our guides are perfect. They can always be better. We are wrong all the time. And we need to and we learn from it. We try to respond quickly to fix it. And we are not so narcissistic and stuck up and stupid that think to think that other people don't have godly ideas as well and we should learn from other people too. I never said any of that. What I said was Max Roll at the end of the day has the best guides. And one of the reasons why we have the best guides is because we don't ha have those stupid mental blocks. We don't think we know everything. We don't think we made the perfect guide and every other guide is stupid. The moment someone says, I got a better build than you do, we say, oh really? Show me. 95% of the time, it's just strictly worse. But 5% of the time, uh, they actually thought of something pretty cute. And in the event that we do implement their ideas, we always credit them. But I think the uh, the level of talent on our team is just uh, insurmountable. We've got some uh, we've got some godly people, godly writers on our team. Some of the best Diablo players to ever play the game, and not just Diablo Four. The all of the Diablos. Shadow Thorn, thank you for the resub, man. Appreciate it. Is Diablo 4 dead? Well, let's see here. I don't have it up right now. Let me pull it up. Well, I'm streaming very late on a Monday. On a, and I got a very late start, and it's very far into the season, which usually means people have left, and I got 1,300 people watching me, which was way more than what we had a month or so ago. So I would say no. Diablo 4 is not dead, it seems. It's definitely rising in popularity. I would say no, it's not dead. Season 3 is going to be better than Season 2, that, that's for sure. Just to give you guys a little sneak peek. Just to give you guys some, a little something. Um, Max Roll is planning to expand tremendously. Like, tremendously. What we have historically done is we've added a branch here, added a branch there. We have, maybe we have like eight total games or something. Ha ha. I think uh, there's some new stuff that we're working on that we will show you. And the the number one thing that we always talk about is... We have to deliver the same quality in everything that we do. It's got to be the same quality. It's got to be 
super Ultima top tier stuff every single time. No exceptions, no excuses. Otherwise, it we would just be diminishing our own brand, right? So usually those two things don't go hand in hand. Massive expansion usually means quality goes down. How do we do that? Well, we think we found a solution. Now that we have a solution for that, now it is time for us to expand to many other games. Not just other games, maybe completely other topics entirely. Someone always jokes, how can I make a max roll guide for life? <laughs> we have seriously considered the, uh, considered the idea. We are going to expand massively with the idea being the same level of quality. It's going to be good. I'm very, very confident. I'm extremely confident. Yeah, just just l let us cook. We're we're frying. You're going to see. We're frying. You're see you're going to see. And it's not just that. It's not only that. It's not how much can we expand, how many branches can we open, ha ha ha. It's also, let's also continuously take a look at what we are already doing. Let's look at our own Diablo 4 branch. Let's look at our own Last Epoch branch. Let's look at the Lost Ark branch. How can we do better with what we are already doing? We need to continuously do better, always. It's not just only expanding. We must get better at everything, always. We should never be satisfied with anything that we ever do, ever. Going to do it. We're blasting. Does Max Roll hire new people? Yes, but we've done it very, very carefully and very slowly. The, the retention on Max Roll is crazy. I can... Like, okay, we have Immortal, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, Lost Ark, Last Epoch, uh, PoE. The number of content creators that have, uh, that have came to us in four years making all those branches that have said, oh, you want to know what? You're just not treating me fairly. I, I'm going to leave for a competitor. I don't know if that's ever happened one time. We have lost some people, but it's never been for that reason. I don't... I don't know if that's ever happened a single time. So we are very selective on our hiring or onboarding, but our retention is extremely high. Explode. Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Thanks to Maxwell and yourself for all the work throughout the years. I shamelessly copy and paste all the builds. Think of it this way, Explode. We don't write the guides for us. We write them for you. If you do not open the guide and read it, you don't even have to copy it. If you don't 
open it up to read it even just to learn something or get an idea for something. If you don't do that, everything we did was for a gigantic waste of time. Then you can think about it from a business side. You could be like, well, on the business side, it doesn't really matter if they copy your builds or they like them, you know, as long as the ad revenue pumps, you make money. Bro, I can tell you that is not how we approach it. A lot of these people are die-hard, world-class gamers since they were a little kid. I can promise you, making a good... I have, had, I have had to have many conversations with people over the years, with our content creators. I'm talking to them at 3 o'clock in the morning. They're trying to release a couple of guides for you guys for the season launch, and they are so unimaginably stressed out. And I say, why are you stressed out? What's wrong? And they say, well, I have to release four guides by the morning. I've been working on all of them all week. I, have, I can't even tell you how many tens of hours I put into these in this week alone. And I just feel like I don't think a single one of the guides is absolutely perfect. I could spend so much more time theory crafting all of them. I'm so stressed out that I can't even make progress on any of the guides because I'm just so stressed out I can't do anything. And I say, all right, listen. I think you are really, really overthinking this and being way too hard on yourself. Your, your version of this guide with 10 hours theory crafting it is better than not what 99.9% .9 of people could ever come up with on their own. Another thing that you're forgetting is people don't level in one day like you do. As long as your leveling guide is good, you have a couple, you have a little bit of time to theory craft the end game guide. Another thing to think about, no matter how well you theory craft the end game guide, you haven't played with the vampiric powers. You do not know if it's even going to work the way that you think it's going to work. And you're probably going to have to change something on every guide anyway. So what you need to do is relax. You need to make sure the leveling guides are good. And then the end game guide, post your very best guess that you have now and update it within the first week. Give yourself some time. Relax about it. And every, no one is going to be mad at you. And another thing is, if you're going to spend any time on a particular guide, if you're on Barb, do Hoda. If you're on Necro, do Bone Spear. Pick the one guide that you know most people are going to play. Put your time into that one tonight. And we can worry about the A tiers, the B tiers later. Most people don't play that shit anyway. Well, the, the purpose of me telling you this is the, peop, the, the authors care so much about trying to do such a perfect job that they are almost incapacitated from working, from being nervous. If you put them on the world stage on a world record race, they're not nervous at all, yet they're worried about disappointing you in not making a perfect guide. So... Maxwell does not sit here and think about how much money can we possibly make. A lot of it just has to do with how do we make the best guides as possible all the time. Shadowthorn, Fat Matt, why, why mix? Thank you for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Tell people that the Maxwell guides are not gospel. You don't like it when people tell you that you're playing wrong. I mean, th there's many different ways to play Diablo. And I don't, I don't understand. You, you absolutely don't have to follow a Maxwell guide. When I, when I roll up to the world boss and I see five other people there, I don't have any assumptions about... Wow, do these guys have the max roll guide on? I, 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 don't, I don't even ever think about that. I have no idea. In fact, I bet most of them don't. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I guess I never really thought about it. 
The time that I direct people to max roll is if they ask me, Rax, how do I do this thing? Oh, well, I'll show you. Look at max roll. But I don't assume by default that everyone just used the max roll guide. There's no music? What? You don't hear the Lion King? YouTube will never hear the music. YouTube cannot play the music. This is Twitch only. YouTube, unfortunately, will never hear the music. Maybe you just suck, but the max roll bone spear guide only got you to tier 60. Black Bear, did you watch my stream yesterday? Yesterday, I had a, it was a blood lance necro, not a bone spear necro at all. I literally took off all of my gear and completely redid it to the max roll guide. Well, ma macros guide anyway, from max roll. And then I was instantly obliterating everything. Yeah, the, I, I have the Lidless Wall Bone Spear. Um, I wonder what went wrong, because I have the same build. I have ma the Max Roll Lidless Wall Bone Spear build. My guy absolutely fries. I wonder what went wrong. I literally made it yesterday. It was my entire stream. I can get on my necro right now if you want to see him. You want to see my necro frying? I mean, he doesn't fry like my barb, but he definitely fries. And I pick this thing up for the love of God. Yeah, Hoda is what I like to call the big bonk build. Big bonk, big bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Kapow. Boom. Boink. Kill all the enemies, okay. Boink, boink, boink. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, big spawn on me, dead instantly, okay. Big bonk, big bonk. They're all dead. There's enemies over here. Kapow, kapow. Boom. Bonk. Boink. Get that one next. 
Okay, you guys want to see the Necro? Yeah, it might be the might be the variant, but ideally all the variants should be good though. Okay, which one's the necro? Is this a necro? I can't even tell. Oh, that's a necro. Yeah, you bet, Carolus. Are you guys good now? Are you guys blasting? Um... Let's do the vampire zone because I desperately need burial kills. Watch my watch my necro fry here. Yeah. All right. Here is my bone spear necro. Now the thing that I want you to notice about this is I want you to see the tremendous amount of skill that I'm exuding when I play, okay? Watch how much skill I'm using. All right, throw a bone spear, throw a bone spear. Oh, they're all dead. Bone spear, bone spear, bone spear. Dead. Mm-hmm. Bone spear. Bone spear. Throw a bone spear that way. The whole the whole map is dead. Kapow. Kapow. Boink, boink. This is the max roll build, by the way. Mm. It isn't exactly big bonk, but both characters are still alive. Good. Okay, well. Yeah, I'll just throw bone spears wherever. Look at my energy full. Oh, channeling shrine? I like that. Big bonk, big bonk, dead. I mean, it, I mean, this character is pretty much cheating. I mean, it's. Bonk, bonk. They're all dead. Okay. Throw bone spears, that guy's dead. Let's go over here, dead. Whole room is dead. Let's go over here, dead. They're all dead. Let's go over here. I mean. I think the I think the conduit would actually make me weaker. Let's this guy, see what he's doing. Got to protect him, I guess. Throw a bone spear that way. Throw a bone spear this way. Hold the vampires. They're dead. I like that. Here comes a big boy right here. Oh, suppressor. Pfft, you're so lucky you had suppressor. God. So lucky, man. Okay, we're done. Did everything, right? You want to see a nightmare dungeon? I'll plug the highest one I got. You said uh, level 60 was giving you problems, right? Oop. All right, let's try. Holy, where'd all these guys come from? Getting ambushed here. Excuse me. What's the highest level I have? 65, all right, let's try 65. Five a.m. and 10 hour work days. Hey, careless, you're making that money though. Have a great night. Thanks for being here. All right, let's try this nightmare dungeon. See how it goes. Actually, not sure how my survivability will be here. This will be an interesting test. Okay, they die instantly like that. Go this way. 
travel to the inner sanctum. Wait, I don't even have to do anything? Okay, well, if I don't have to do anything, let's just go to the end. I like that. Pow, pow gone. Deleted. Is this an event? Now, we got a poison explode. Whole room's dead, like that. Okay, we go this way. Go up. Pow, 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 on. Okay, let's get our ultimate going here. Let's walk it here. I don't even understand what is this room. There's nothing in this room. Let's go another way. Everybody's dead. Frying. Got jebated on the blast wave. I don't like that. That's a way. Up we go, up we go. Deleted, deleted, deleted. No chance, no chance. Up we go. As you can see, the Bone Spear Necro is pretty cracked, man. Pretty cracked. Not a single French toast is given when playing Bone Spear. So let me show you the setup here that I'm using. Should be pretty identical to the max roll guide. Okay, this boss actually. He took a couple bone spears there. That's incredible. Alright, so there was a. There was an example of a. Uh, A 65. TLDR for quick levels from level 50. Do the Domhain tunnels over and over and over. The, the first part of the Domhain tunnels over and over and over here in Act 2. Do those. That's how you level up fast. Okay, so... We got our wand here. This wand is not perfect at all. I need a new wand, but good enough for now. Lidless wall. This drops off of Lord Zir. Kill Lord Zir, you get a lidless wall. Gives you infinite barriers, but I don't even have the infinite barrier power. Ghost walkers for movement. Got your resistances on the boots. Tidbalt's will. This drops off Durial. You will definitely get this for more damage. The Corpse Tendrils is very nice, especially when it's auto-casted from this ring. You will absolutely get this. My, this is the worst ring ever. I need a new one from Varshan Lynch, but um, I, this is terrible. But it's all I got so far. I told you I made it in one day. Disobedience to stay alive. Deathless vi Visage, you don't need this at all. In fact, I think potentially for the real clear, you're not even going to use it. Uh, not the greatest amulet ever, but... It'll do for now. Uh, this ring's pretty great. This ring is is pretty great. So I can't complain about my ring. I got one good piece. Um, my build it should be pretty much identical to the max. There's really not many ways to build the Bone Spear Necro. I take the curse with the amplified damage. That's a very offensive way to play. You could spec out of it and instead just take Blood Mist, which would be very, very safe. And you could potentially pick up the attack speed here. That's about the only real option that you have. Everything else is pretty much set in stone for every Bone Spear build ever. There's really no two ways to build it. And that's it. This is my Necro. Not perfect at all, but pretty good for making him in a single day. Not even a single day. I built him in like six hours. Your ring is 2, 2, 16. Mine's 1.6, 1 1.6, 1 13 with the almost a minimum essence roll, minimum corpse skill roll, and a minimum life roll. I literally have the most, like, don't get me wrong, yours is absolute dog shit too. But this, this ring, it's very hard to make a worse ring than this one. It's just a complete abomination. In fact, let's go try to make it better. 
This will be another nice little example. Let me show you an example of a boss, maybe. Let's see how we do on Varshan. Actually, we can kill him a bunch of times. I like that. Let's take these three. Let's kill him a couple of times and then we'll hang it up here for the night. So if we go over here, let's see, can I save one or two of these? This one's pretty good. Anything else I want to save? There's actually no reason to delete it. Let's just let's just go. Where does my armor and HP come from? Uh, my survivability comes from really the lidless wall, but I don't even have the power that makes the lidless wall work. Here, it's got life, double DR, and armor. I have a percent armor roll here. That's pretty much it. I'm supposed to have a lot of life on this ring. I'm missing 500 life. I'm supposed to have a lot of life on this ring. I'm missing like 700 life. So my necro is not doing good in the survivability category right now. All right, let's try this boss. Let's see how it goes. Kapow. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> Try again. Yeah, I mean, any ring that I find will be better than mine, so. As long as I find a ring, it should be an upgrade. I just need a ring. Alright, ring, ring, lit, 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 lit. Possible ring. It can't, it can't be worse. Two, two, sixteen. It's the worst possible. Oh my god. Mine is so bad. Anything would have been better. Oh my god. Thanks, Obama. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. That is truly unbelievable. Yeah, I'm running the WAND. Okay, I got three three more attempts here.
Ring. Let, 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 let. Oh, fucking God, man. It's dog shit. I mean, it's better than mine, but barely. It's terrible. Come on, man. Jesus. The top roll doesn't matter at all. The raised skeleton, that could be any value. I don't care. One I care the most about is the corpse tendril one. Well, all right. Okay, anything actually good? This ring is better than mine, I guess, so. It's better than mine, I guess, but it's not good. All right, um, we'll probably hang it up here, guys. That was a good little blast. I'm sorry that I started so late today. I will correct that tomorrow, hopefully. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to start my stream at 4. I'm going to start much earlier than 4, that's for damn sure. Try to get back on a pretty good schedule here, but um, that was a lot of fun. I always appreciate you guys being here and never take you guys for granted. Yeah, we upgraded it, so now we got 
Still a pretty terrible ring. The corpse skill thing actually doesn't matter. The essence matters tremendously. The life matters tremendously. Lucky hit matters a lot. And the corpse tendrils ma matters a lot. So this ring is just bad. We just need a new one. It's just bad. We'll get a better one. It's not a big deal. Okay. Well, we could raid Dioxide. We could raid Echo Hack. We could raid... I think we already raided Ravnica for her thingy, right? Could raid Leia. Could raid Snuggy. I feel like I haven't raided Dioxide in a long time. Why don't we raid Dioxide? Sarah, Sarah's going to stream. I'm almost certain, but she's going to go live in a little bit. I think we're going on a walk, and then Sarah will be on. Let's go hang out with Dioxide. Thank you so much, everybody, on Twitch. Thank you so much, everybody, on YouTube. I never take you guys for granted. I appreciate any day that you choose to spend with me. Thanks for the follows, the subs. Thanks for liking on YouTube and sticking around. YouTube is all about the algorithm. If good things continue happening to the stream, if people keep liking and showing up, then YouTube will grow. And if the algorithm hates me, then the opposite will happen. So, how does the algorithm work? I got no effing idea. I don't think anybody knows. But I appreciate it. Thank you guys. We'll be on tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow possibly might do some Durial runs, but we're we're getting the mats here. We're we're getting ready. We're getting ready to to put some kills in. Yeah, we're doing we're doing okay here. Almost got eight attempts. Have a good night, guys. GG's.